Welcome everybody to one military camp. We are finally here with the axe, not the axis, well, kind of early axis is here upon us on one military camp. We played this game quite a bit on the channel through the betas and through the demos and things like that. But now it's here. Um, March 2nd of 2023, you will be able to purchase uh, one mili military camp for yourself. I want to big say a thank you, a big shout out to the developers for sending me a key and being able to access this game and play this game early, uh, a few days early. So thank you very much for that. That's by uh, Ablight uh, Barcelona and Ablight Studios. Uh, Ablight Barcelona being the developers, publishers being Ablight Studios. Basically, one military camp is you Build your own military camp. Look at me. I can't even see without my glasses. Build your own military camp. Manage the economy. Recruit the best candidates and train them to become elite specialists. Send them on missions across the land to end the war once and for all. Yeah. So uh, with this, this is going to be early access. So what you do see, please give it, you know, give it how it is. But uh, with that, it's going to be $24.99 USD when it is released. Uh, but for the first uh, seven days, you can pick it up for 10% off, $22.49 uh, USD. <clears throat> now, they are and they have some plans going in the future here for one military camp with early access. March, starting in March, they are going to do Steam Deck support. So the same month it releases, they should be doing updates for Steam Deck support, enhanced missions and things like that, real-time feedback and decisions, and then self-sufficiency, whatever that means. April, they will then add the sandbox mode. So April, you should see a sandbox mode come into play. In May of this month, camp mascots will be introduced. Uh, usability and sex accessibility will be also introduced in May. June will be customization, customization and summer events. And then July, they will add a Twitch, Twitch integration, social uh, feature. And then by September, they should have two new biomes and a challenge mode to go with that. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all I really got for you with one military camp. We will be starting a brand new playthrough here today. So that's going to be that. And if you've never seen this game and you like Tycoon Management-esque type games, uh, you might like this one. So, please, uh, if you enjoy what you see in today's stream, please make sure to hit the like button if you want to see more of Military Camp. And subscribe if you are new to the channel. And let's jump right into a brand new campaign. File name? You already know. Let's go. Hey, how's it going, everyone in chat? Hey, Tanya. Hey, Yellow. Hey, Blaine. What's going on? Hey, Natalie. Amber's bedtime. What's going on? How you doing? Alazorus, how you doing? Alazorus, your first live stream. Hey, Cassie, how you doing, Cassie? Hey, Huffy T. Good to see you. Hope everyone's doing well. Hey, Aunt Captain. Hey, Lori. Lori the dancing. Stitcher, hey. How you doing, Lori? Yes, this is the evil dragon, I guess, is like the evil dictator that we have to somehow, I guess, go up against. This game, I think, is a pretty long one, as is, too. Who knows? But I'm going to be learning... For the, like, most majority of, like, the first hour. Look at her. My goodness gracious. We're going to be doing the tutorial. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely going to be on the tutorial grind. We're going to learn together. Ah, uh, bless you. There's a lot of funny things with this, too. It's, it's, a, it's a goofy one, for sure, too. Nice little goofy cartoon one. <clears throat> Any idea if they have a Mac or port a version? I do not know that. I do not have that information. Hey, Danielle Smith. How you doing? Ah, yes. We are here. Hey! Hey! Sergeant Hawkins, stop right there. Hands up and turn around very, very slowly. Oh. Oh, so you are the replacement they sent from the Officer Academy. Looking like that, yeah? I'll have to make do. If High Command considers you worthy, then. <laughs> right. Uh, hang on a second. It's up here. There we are. Okay. Cool. Hang on a second. Let me just move this over to the side. Sorry. 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 <laughs> I'm going to be looking up at uh, chat today. Actually, no, I'm not. I'll be looking to my side here for chat. Oh. Bam! Okay. Uh, I'll have to make do. Uh, if High Command considers you worthy, then so do I. So there's no option. Ah! I hope you're ready to work. Well, I'll try. 
I'm Sergeant John Hawkins. My friends call me Sergeant Hawkins. My mom calls me Sergeant Hawkins. And from now on, I'm Sergeant Hawkins to you. I'm responsible for this facility, the One Military Camp. And my mission is to stop that damn dragon, that criminal. He has ruled over the other territories with an iron fist for over a year now. We are all that stands in the way of this evil plans of conquest, or his evil plans of conquest. My best soldiers, and also my worst ones, are being held captive in this territory. <clears throat> uh, we weren't able to react in time. If only we had General Diana Birdwhistle with us, things would have turned out differently. Hi. But you are here to change that. Keep your ears open, look forward, chest out. This camp is all we have left. It may look the dilapidated now, but uh, that's because you haven't started working yet. Our chance to stop dragging this very rusty piece of iron in every blade of grass and every wooden log. Uh, we just need to uh, we just need to do some fine tu tuning. Is it blurry? Okay, no, not blurry. Okay, thank you. Follow me inside, and I'll bring you up to date. We'll talk about your haircut later. Okay, hey. march. All right. Well, I guess we're marching our way over. Holy moly. And to be honest with you, this camp is a complete disaster. Nothing works, nothing is repaired, and more than anything, we need people. We had to completely abandon it, but then we had to take it back when Dragon seized our other positions. Or, uh, yeah, our other positions. That's why we've gone unnoticed all this time. So feel free to explore the camp, but don't hurt yourself. Unless you are familiar with the basic controls, select the barracks. So I think this is going to be the introduction to the tutorial then, right? The tutorial introduces all the gameplay mechanics, and, you know, having a little bit of a refresher is always nice. We will do that. So if you have any doubts about the next step of the tutorial, you can watch a video tutorial by clicking on this icon on th at the top. Oh, that's pretty nice. Little video, yeah? Okay, so move the camera. Pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory there. Rotating and all that. Zoom, zoom, zoom. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Right, right, right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Select the basic barracks. The barracks is where our troops have a chance to rest. It's not all about work. You have to keep your mind and body healthy. Each barracks can hold up to seven cadets. Keep that in mind when things get crowded. As you can see, our new barracks has no power. Like I said, we are running on fumes. Without light, our men and women will find out that what the darkest hours is really like. We need to fix that. Build an electric generator to supply power to this whole area. Very well. Hang on a sec. Do I need to stop the stream for a bit? Do I need to set re reset? Ay, 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 dude. It is. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we are. We should be back. Okay. We good? We're good. All right. We're good. That should be everything. Like I said, yeah, it is snowing today, so... Uh, the, the things can get a little wonky, of course, when uh, it freaking snows, right? We all know that. Uh, let's do there. There we go. Cool. We should be back. We should be fine. Just reset. Refresh. 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 Okay. Anyways. Good to be back. Build an electric generator in the designated area. Okay, right. So last time I actually did this and I played this, I made generators look horrible. What I mean by that is <laughs> I put them everywhere. I did. I put generate. I put at least the power lines. I, uh, I I put everywhere, right? It was kind of uh, kind of ugly, really, really ugly. So I'm going to try to not do that this time. I will let barracks just the way I like it. Now, the newbies will have a place to take a breather after training. Great. Now we have a place to sleep. Now, let's talk about the chow. Buy in the canteen and click on it. Okay, yeah. Bring it in the canteen. Now, the one thing about this is that they're actually putting us in, like, they're, they're making us place certain things in certain areas, yeah? Ah, army chow. You'll never forget that taste. Back in my day, they even used to toss in an old tire or two. This is a gourmet food by comparison. Let's use this old canteen, but to do that, we should connect it to the rest of the camp, build a road to the canteen. Here we are, let's do the road, do the road. Um, kind of want to go down that way this time. Before I didn't do that, but I'm going to do it this time. So good job. The road will be, uh, will help our troops reach the canteen easy easily. 
Now we have to connect to the power grid. Build some electric poles to power the canteen. All right, some power poles, power poles, yeah. This is where things got super ugly last time. I'm gonna try not to do that. Uh, let's see, there. That should be enough, yeah? I guess, no, that's not enough. Uh, I gotta connect it to the actual generator itself. Uh, and then let's go from here to, can we do that? There we go, cool. <laughs> Let there be light. It's starting to work. Good, now we have to hire a new cook, preferably someone who doesn't add chunks of tire to the soup. Uh, some buildings, uh, like the canteen, require us to hire some people, and by that I mean qualified personnel. Workers can sleep in the barracks with the troops, but their morale will be higher if you build them a private house. If you want them to do their jobs well, we have to make sure they have the best accommodations. Luckily, I had a private house built for our first cook. But if you want to bring in more employees, you'll have to build more. Remember that. Ah. I put up some advertisements to bring in new candidates. The first ones should be here any minute now. Let's see if anyone came in who can help us. Hmm. Look at this guy. Uh, Henzel Pops, Pops, Poposki. Hmm. As you can see, every candidate has their own specific skills. The skills we want depend on the job. On one hand, they have skills which are the best uh, basic abilities. On the other hand, they have traits which show us their pers uh, special talents. Like, <laughs> pay close, not play, pay close attention and hire only the best. It looks like the Popski, Popski, Popski guy isn't a bad cook. He said he makes an incredible cabbage soup, my favorite. Hey. There's no room for incompetence at this camp, so be careful about who you hire if you don't want any unpleasant surprises. Select Henzel and hire him as a cook. So this is where the game kind of gets really cool, uh, in depth too, I would even kind of even say. Uh, you click on these guys and you can see all different kinds of traits. You can have schedules, you can see their speed, their strength, the intelligence, accuracy, whatnot, what's good for them, what's not, and you know, everything else. <laughs> hey Maddie, how you doing Maddie? Hey Charlie, how you doing? Hey Steffi T, how you doing Steffi T? Hey Jules, how you doing Jules? Hey Alexander, what's going on? What's going on? Hey Ambers. <clears throat> Hey, Samantha, how's it going? Hey, bedtime, what's going on? Uh, yeah, so we will put this person as a cook. I think, if anything, it says right here, yeah, good cook. Experience as cook increases 25% faster, which is obviously something we want. Um, defensive knowledge and night owl that, I mean, I guess night owl, you gotta have a night cook, but I don't know if that's really worth it or not. Uh, however, you will get hired. Since it's, a, you know, the tutorial after all. So that's the spirit. Uh, now that Mr. Popsky has joined our troops, our, has joined us, our troops will like, will eat like kings. I'm dying to taste his soup, but it's still early. First, we have to get the canteen ready. This building has been abandoned for a long time, and it is in terrible condition. Look at those floors; it's disgusting. We need to hire a maintenance worker to strengthen out, uh, straighten out this mess. Maintenance workers make sure that our buildings are always in good condition. If we don't look after them, our troops won't be able to train. This is crucial work. On top of that, they're also in charge of managing our camp warehouses and supplies. They're, they're our go-to guys for everything. Mm. How about hiring a maintenance worker, yeah? Once we have one, just select the canteen info menu and request it to be cleaned. Back in my day, we just used a toothbrush. Yo. Make sure they get it sparkling clean. I want to see my reflection in those floors. Right, I, I, okay. Right. Toothbrush, all that, and whatnot. Let's actually hang on. Let's get uh, this guy out of the way first and foremost. How about that? Maybe he'll be fine right there. And then let's go ahead and go to there. See our stuff here. This is going to be our maintenance worker people, maintenance building. And we are going to have them somewhere. I kind of want to put them centralized in some to some degree. So maybe I go like right there. So that when we expand out more, they'll be able to kind of touch more bases. Not base, literally base, but you know what I mean. Hey, K-Fam, how you doing? What's going on? Mm, uh, there we go. Uh, private house. We'll put the private house... I don't even know, dude. Kind of, we need to keep it away. Yeah, we need to keep it away from... From noise and stuff like that. So, maybe put the private houses... Right there for now? Yeah. Put that right there for now, and then we'll add road, and then we'll go boom, boom. Perfect. 
then we should have another recruit in there we are and maintenance so this is robert clark defense knowledge nothing really special other than he's just going to be a maintenance guy for us so there we go look at him he's so happy to be here <laughs> so happy to be here Get to work. I want to see this camp squeaky clean. Mm, well, moving on. Camp maintenance is in good hands. Now we're all missing is the supplies. That's all we're missing now. We can't run our canteen if we don't have any food, can we? We have to take care of this. Supplies are essential for keeping the machinery running. We have to be careful and make sure that we always have a constant flow of resources. Our main supplies are fuel, food, medicine, and ammo. The downside is that they are hard, to f hard for us to find. To get them, we'll have to talk to some suppliers and that's where the other thing comes into play with this game is that you have to also maybe even talk to suppliers and things like that which are punny so to speak so yeah let's go to this map and i'll explain it to you very well let's do this any idea of the cost yeah the cost of this will be 24.99 usd uh 10 percent off for the first uh seven days so 24.99 usd first seven days it will be 22.49 usd so this is the country map as you can see, Dragon has taken control of almost every region. Uh, the that, I, what, huh? Reco, reckless. Damn him! Uh, to bring up your map, either press the country map icon at the bottom left or your screen, or zoom in at the camp view until the map appears. If you want to return to camp, press the country map icon again or zoom in on your map. Easy, isn't it? It's very easy. Uh, look closely. See those little buildings? Some of them are resource suppliers. The problem is the most uh, that most of them is controlled in a controlled area by dragon. As we complete missions, we will unlock new territories and gain access to these suppliers. Some have more competitive prices or greater production capacity, so keep an eye out for good deals so we can have some money. Anyway, uh, let's go back to the camp. We need to talk about how to manage our supplies. This is a lot of information all at once, right? So... Forgetting things is going to be probably something. We will need warehouses to manage our supplies. It's it's a lot of information and not really hands-on right now. Warehouses allow us to store these precious resources. They come in various types depending on what they hold. Hey. Don't mix food with fuel, or we might have an unexpected accident. Rightfully so. Uh, you also have to place them close to the buildings that need them. Uh, because our maintenance personnel will have to go back and forth pushing a wheelbarrow so okay so you have to place them close to a building okay right so warehouse for food food next to the canteen so on and so on yeah if you put a warehouse too far away they'll have to run a marathon just to get there hey. build our first food warehouse near the canteen okay right so we want this to be strictly just a food warehouse now is there kind of yeah okay there is there's logistics a so food warehouse uh maintenance building fuel warehouse uh, medicine warehouse and then ammo warehouse eventually so put the food right here perfect mm -hmm. so that's right a brand new warehouse our maintenance staff will be in charge of distributing the supplies in the meantime let's contact our first supplier if you look at the warehouse info panel you can bring up the supplier list we only have one right now, but more will appear as we gain new territories. Hey, Blossom, how you doing, Blossom? What's going on? Hey, Jefferson, how you doing, Jefferson? Check your map for, from time to time to compare suppliers and unlock territories. You can also contact them from your map if that's easier. <sighs> Mark my words, managing su your supplies well is one of the keys to success, but enough chit-chat, our warehouse won't be worth a thing if we don't put something in it. Request our first food order. Okay, so food stock. $460. You can see the food provider here is Top Bun. Love it. Buy it. Top Bun. Order now. Cool. And the helicopter will come. Very cool. Look at that. Drops it right on in. Love it. Well done. Our food reserves are at optimal levels. But beware, nothing lasts forever. Our buildings will let you know when we're low on supplies so that you can order another shipment. You can order more supplies from the info panel for each warehouse or from the supplier on the country map. It's up to you, but make sure uh, we never run out of supplies. Now that you know it, how it's done, how about building a fuel warehouse to supply our electric generator? Okay, electric generator, fuel house, put the fuel house next to the electric generator. Remember that the more houses we have, the more maintenance workers we will need. You may need to hire someone else. Let's get to work. Dun, 
dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun. Okay. Uh, let's go to over here because this is where the electric generator is, right? So there's a wait, there's a private house right there. I just noticed. Can we actually move that private house? I didn't realize that. Wait, they put they made us put that there, right? Yeah, they made us put that electric generator there. Uh, okay, right. Uh, let's put this in. Fuel, 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 fuel first. Store fuel. We want to put that next to here. Bam. And then let's go ahead and hire another person, right? Just gas. We'll buy that. And then let's go ahead and recruit maybe Sophia for maintenance also, because we might need another one. Medical knowledge, though. Experience as medic increases 25% faster. I don't know if I want to hire her as a maintenance then. Maybe I'll hold off on that. Hire another maintenance worker. <laughs> is this Sophia or is this somebody else? I think this is somebody else. No, is that Sophia? That's Sophia. I don't want to hire Sophia. Sophia's good at medical stuff. I don't want to hire her as a maintenance person. What the heck is that? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Only you can protect forest, forest fires. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, regardless, there we go. Hire for you for maintenance, even though I disagree with this action, but that is what it is. Hmm. So this is starting to look like a real camp. Uh, we have supplies in a place to eat and sleep. It's time to get to work. Let's start with the training buildings. Our troops have to get through some tough training before they can pick a specialization. There are many different specializations from pilot to comms, operator, or even a spy. Each special specialization requires a different set of skills. That's why the first skills training is the most important. As new recruits come in, we will need to think very carefully about the training we give them and which specializations we need most. Now, the cool thing about this game is when we do finally put these like um, training buildings and things like this, it really reminds me a lot of Two Point Campus or Two Point Hospital and how they uh, operate with these uh, little... Um, training places so to speak for now let's focus on two kinds of basic training build a strength training building build a strength training building and an intelligent training building as well Whew. <sighs> hey pika how you doing good to see you welcome 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 you oh and one more thing choose where you build them wisely training buildings make a distinct sound like an enemy's weapon uh, it's best to keep barracks away from entertainment areas so that our troops get some sleep at night. If you need to clear the ground, remember that you have a demolition tool. Uh, let's get to work. Very well. Okay, very good. Good, 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 good. So let's do it. Everything is okay. Build a fully functional intelligence building. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Uh, improves intel. Now, again, the one thing I really, really want to try to do this time is make my... Uh, make my... Uh, layout not so much of a freaking headache <laughs> we'll see though we'll definitely see all right let's go let's go um let's go road give me the road i think this game is going to be really good though i mean i know we've played this game quite a bit on the channel as is but um you know um the times we have played it it's been fun strength training should maybe next to intelligence There we go. Now that we have like more of a, 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 of a of a sounded release, a more full game than we have played in the past, uh, it should be it should be good like good surprises around the corner. Outstanding, our camp is now operational. Hmm. And I see new faces there. It seems my advertising campaign was effective after all. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Ah, look at that. Hey Darren, how you doing, Darren? What's going on? Very interested to see in what shape this game is in early access. Me too. I'm I'm in I'm in the same same freaking boat. I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm doing good as well. Hey Rachel, first time catching a live. Love your videos. I hope you continue to stream and grow. Well, I appreciate that, Rachel. Big shout out to you. Hope you're doing well. Make sure you check everybody's skills and traits. If they have the wrong skills or traits, they won't be effective on missions, and that's something we can't afford. Let's start with the one here, yeah? Uh, or the one there, or that one there. <laughs> For our training program, we need someone with an athletic build, someone who is used to physical activity. I don't think that's the case here. This recruit isn't in great shape. I don't see much potential. Maybe we should take a look at some of the other recruits. We'll figure out what to do uh, with this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's see about this recruit. Good, much better. That's the one. Uh, this recruit is in really good shape, and I think they have a lot of potential. The decision is yours, but we need to recruit someone as soon as possible. Pick one of them, and we'll start training. 
all right so physical training let's see here so this person i don't think what was this person the the physical speed strength intelligence accuracy and then this person was cheryl scott she has more strength way more intel my god you're actually good for everything you are good aren't you yeah yeah we would want you to be strength for sure defense knowledge and a sprinter we'll hire you as far as you can i change you to actually damn it i should have put i should have put Oh, well, you know what? Hang on a sec. I can do that. Hang on. Yeah. Let's take her real quick. Sorry. I just realized. Can we take yes, you? Sir. Yeah. Hey. No, no, not yet, Mr. Hawkins. I'm trying to do something here. I'm going to put her on intelligence because her intelligence is incredible. Uh, soldier, get to work. Uh, sorry. I, I get excited every time a new cadet steps onto the training field. I love the smell of sweat in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, reminds me of my early days, except it was a lot tougher back then. Sergeant Campo uh, was one of the tough guys. Mm. Anyway, uh, where was I? Ah, yes. Skills training. You see, when a recruit comes into camp as a private, they'll go to whatever training they want unless you tell them otherwise. These young people today have no respect for anything. They think they can do whatever they want. If my buddy Sergeant Campo could see them, it, could, it would drive me nuts. Like I said, they're hard-headed. Uh, the only solution is for you to tell them where you want them to train. Our new recruit is on their way to strength training building, but we're going to change their plans. I agree. Click on the soldier and in the service, yes, intelligence is exactly what I want to do. When the time comes, it will come in handy if we are un if we are able to specialize troops and comms operators. Remember what I told you, skills training is key when deciding what specialization our candidates should have. Finally, if you want your troops to train faster, you speed things up in the menu on the yes. We know about that. There's a lot of work ahead. Let's get to it. Okay, you. Yes, sir. Uh, pause. Changing. We need to put you into intelligence. Right. Thank you. You. Ah. You've done very well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have a job interview tomorrow. That's wonderful, Maddie. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Mm -mm -mm. That is awesome. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. You've done very, very well. Hey, Richard. How you doing, Richard? Um, the training is going smoothly, and I think we're ready to bring in more recruits. Let's see if we can get a few artillery specialists and comms operators. But the first, first, they'll need to complete their training as privates. Let's focus on uh, training more troops. I'll tell you how specializations Hi. work later. I'll leave it in your hands, so don't let me down. All right. So with you, my good man, let's put you on strength. We will hire you. You have good accuracy. You are sickly, though. Increases the chance of getting sick or injured while training by 5%. I actually hate that, Mr. Charles. Um, so, do I, like... Do I have to have you? I guess I have to have you. Hire some privates while the night falls. Wait, while the night falls? Can I put you, like, on something else? I don't want you to be a part of us. I really don't. <laughs> I don't want you to be a part of us at all. Uh, frick. All right. Um... We'll get you going. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is your, what is you like? What is your detail? Charles Moore, Charles Moore. Very well. Ah, more recruits are coming in. Nice. Oh, look at her. This is Martha. Loves action flicks from the 80s and 90s. Thinks the army is just like the movies. Does it not? Does not excel in any discipline. It seems she'll need to train hard to get very far in her soldiering career. Don't demand too much physical effort from her. It's not her best quality. Even though she has a very high strength. Way higher than her intelligence. We'll add her to the... Uh, we want her to go to strength. But she has she has no uh, perks and uh, no bonuses and all that. We'll get you going, girl. Let's go. Hey, David. How you doing? Hey, little miss. Uh, this will be available on March 2nd for $24.99 USD. Yep. You helped the game where it is now before? Nice. So did I. We both did that, yeah? There's a lot of people that have done that, yeah? Hey, Snake Eye. How you doing, Snake Eye? Hey, Carrie. How you doing, Carrie? Hey, Vaughn. How's it going, Vaughn? All right. So, we'll let that kind of go out and about. Uh, in the meantime, it's almost nighttime. Is that how you spell nighttime? Sure. Hmm. Uh, time flies when you're busy. Your people, recruits included, need to go to sleep at night. Rest is important. However, if we want this to work right, our camp will have to provide services around the clock. 
obviously we can't make them work today and night or work them day and night that would be inhumane of course but we can assign them some of the workers for the night shift yeah hey. pay attention That's important make this best use of our people's skills managing their schedules properly is crucial don't worry it's easier than it looks you can bring up the info panel by selecting a soldier or worker and doing the schedule which we know about uh, the schedule has the night day and night shifts and divided into service and rest periods as is it is important to find a balance between these if you want to keep morale high and prevent injury luckily i am always on top of things i prepared a couple of standard schedules for you to use uh let's see here simply select whoever you want and choose a night or day schedule hmm. you can also customize schedules by clicking on each box separately it's getting dark and this camp has to keep going hire a cook and assign them to the night shift yeah you'll be able to it's going to be 24.99 usd and then for the first seven days it will be 10 percent off for 22.49 usd uh, only on steam uh later this month in march or sorry later in march it's not this month yet but later in march they are going to be adding uh updates uh steam deck verified will be added during march um then they have a bunch of other march i kind of if you go on the replay for the back i kind of go over the list of updates and all the roadmap coming in uh, for this game in the future too as well so but one thing that's very important is uh steam deck will be coming in, in march at least that's the hopes right now so let's go ahead and hire another cook good cook that's perfect yes you are going to be a cook now are you a night owl you are a night owl as well so we have two night owl cooks this is mia maya mia wilson uh, has been fired from her last four jobs that's terrible she thinks this is her last chance knows how to tie her shoes at least that's something some would say she's a brain donor come on come on <laughs> all right yes sir yes sir uh, no, no, no. You uh, sign a night time. So I yes, guess sir. she she'll be fine to do night shift. Okay. We'll just put you on night shift. So there we go. Hire some privates uh, while the night falls. Here we go. We have another person coming in with speed, strength, and intelligence. I mean, more or less, they have better intelligence than than strength. So let's just go in and hire them. This is Liz Jimenez, an analytic thinker who is always looking for ways to improve efficiency and productivity. Knows how to tie her shoes. All right. Well, another person that knows how to tie her shoes. That's good. Very good. <sighs> Hey, Autumn 3, how you doing? You've been waiting all week to watch play? Oh, very good. Very good. Good to see you. Good to see you, Autumn. Sergeant Hawking looks exactly like the head of my VA, uh, the VA in my area, only a younger. That's funny. <laughs> Does he speak like him, too? <laughs> ah, well, good job. Our camp will have a 24-7 kitchen. Uh, remember that whenever you hire or recruit someone, they will have a night or day shift scheduled depending on when they first set foot into the camp. So if we hire anybody in the night shift, they will be then, I think, night shift, right? The time of the day is given on the time bar at the bottom right of your screen. You can also speed up the time if you prefer to skip uh, the wait. You'll need to arrange our troop schedules as well. Make sure that all other camp services are provided around the clock and everything will run smoothly. And big shout to Rachel. Look at that, Rachel. Thank you for becoming a member, Rachel. Big shout to you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome indeed. Thank you very much, Rachel. Big shout to you. Big hugs, big loves, and big dubs. Oh, that's something, dude. That's a new saying I can do. Oh, look at me go with the new rhymes. Anyways, but let's get on with this lesson. Uh, the sun is going down, and our candidates, or candidates, our can uh, cadets and workers have finished for the day. This has truly been the longest day. It's important that they get a good night's rest so they'll be able to work hard tomorrow. We can't afford to have people slacking around here. We have to keep morale high if we want to keep this going. In my day, Sergeant Campbell, uh, chicken noodle soup, knew how to be persuasive, but his methods, thankfully, are a thing of the past. Never thought of a cadet could run so much, but apparently alligators are pretty fast. Nowadays, we use uh, less medieval methods to encourage the troops to keep morale up you have to be careful not to assign too much work. Also, as you may have seen, we can construct certain buildings or other entertainment amenities to help reduce stress. Mm -hmm. How about a game at the arcade or a visit to the museum? You're telling me a museum? You're going to build a museum on base? What the heck? I guarantee you the troops will appreciate it. And uh, they'll show their appreciation by working hard. So much for today's lesson. Build the entertainment building. And if you like, add some street lights to our camp. Hey. Our troops can't see in the dark mm. yet. Uh, very well. Yet, because we don't have any night vision, I assume. <laughs> uh, right, so let's get the entertainment rolling. So entertainment building needs to go down. 
Um, we don't want this to be anywhere near the barracks because of the noise uh, pollution. So let's kind of like put this kind of like tucked away over here. I'm kind of okay about that. Let's tuck it away. If they want to do a little bit of entertainment, they're going to go walk for it, dude. You got to walk away for it. That should be good, right? Road? Oh, power. We need power. Hang on. Let me get the power. And I'm going to get street lights out here too and everything. Uh, let's go here. Give me electricity. Give me this. We'll go down this way. I won't make it so much of a mess like I did last time. There we go. <laughs> cool. Hire a few more privates during the night shift. Okay, we definitely will do that. Uh, I can actually probably get rid of that little bit of dirt there. Uh, let's do that. Sick. And then let's add some street lights around, please and thank you. Where would that be? Decorative. Okay, decorative. Do street lights. Deuces light. Okay. Can we actually shift click? Yeah. Let's do that forehead. Perfect. That way. Is that enough lights? Uh, I guess I can need a little bit more. That's good. Some over here. There we go. Power overload. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. I agree. We have so many street lights going on. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. 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 Let's look into this. So we're going to need uh, one more. And if I go right here, I'm trying to make sure the noise po uh, pollution is not too, too crazy. Um, I guess I could slam it right behind. Yeah. Damn. That's annoying. Uh, yes. I, I understand. Yeah. 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 I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. There we go. Okay. And then uh, that should be okay. I don't know how much power we have then. We have 20% on here. And then we have, looks like 82% on there. Okay. Got it. Woo. We're going. Hey, Cassie. How you doing, Cassie? <laughs> Rachel says, I've never joined a membership for YouTube. So I think you definitely deserve it with how wholesome and sweet you are. Oh, that was very kind of you, uh, Rachel. That was very kind of you. Thank you very much for that. Very kind of you. That was very sweet of you to say. Thank you. Thank you. Don't know what to say. That is very, very sweet of you. Appreciate that a lot. Now, actually, hang on a sec. Can I, um... Can I actually connect these two? There we go. Kind of distribute that a little bit evenly. There we go. Okay. Woo! I should put my computer a mile or so from my house. Might lose some weight. <laughs> Alright. Let's see who we can hire here. Who do we have for nighttime schedule? Uh, strength. Uh, I would rather you be strength, slow recovery. Yeah, we, but we would rather you be in strength. So let's hire you for strength there, soldier. This is uh, Tanisha. Tanisha. And then you are Matthew Williams. I kind of want you in strength as well. So we'll put you in strength also. How are we doing on barracks? I think we should be fine. I don't know how many people we have in there. Six. Okay, we have six people in the barracks now. Hey, Peter, how are you doing, Peter? Peter says, wow, 12 months. I can already enjoy what I, I can already enjoy what Cans makes. Thank you for the one year of support. Thank you. Very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you for that. One whole year of support. Big shout to you. Hope you are well, Peter. Hope you are well. Yes, sir. What are they saying? Assigning training goal on the character panel. Oh, a training goal. A okay, training goal. Ah, set a goal. Hmm. Oh. Artillery or a comms operator? You're in strength, right? You're in intelligence. Okay, so we want you to go on comms operator. Right? No. Are you in? Where are you at? You should be maybe in. Tanisha, you're actually in here, right? Yeah, your main building should be uh, Consider strength. Consider it done, boss. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes, sir. You are in strength, too. So your goal should be artillery as well. Yeah. There we go. We have another person coming in. Hopefully they're intelligent. We'll see. Mm, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, not really. <laughs> Still again with more on the on the strength side, but that's all right. That's okay. 
This is going to be the last person we can hire uh, until we have to do some different, uh, you know, we're going to have to make some more barracks. So Khalil Hood, he has never known what he wanted to do. This is his strength. This is his 10th job he's had. Maybe it will be the last. He's pretty mediocre and doesn't excel at anything. He's slower than a baby learning to walk. Oh, my God. All right. Very well. All right. So that guy, let's go ahead and give him a goal, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your goal will be artillery also. We're going to have a lot of artillery people, aren't we? It's going to be kind of crazy. But now we need to make more barracks. Oh, another recruit coming through. Train a soldier to reach 60 intelligent points, which I think we have two. Yeah, we have two people doing that. Let's yes, talk to these sir. people. And we will set your goal to comms. That's your goal. Thank you. And then let's talk yes, with sir. you. Set your goal to comms as well. Somebody should be, uh, it should be, what was the other person's name? Uh, yes, Cheryl? Sir. Yeah, Cheryl should be just fine. Uh, we are very, very close anyways. Let's see, where are you at? You are at 50, yeah. So 50 to 60, super easy. Super easy indeed. You can kind of get a nice little zoom in and watch them train, which is always kind of cool. You know, let them go at it. Hit that freaking beanbag dude. Who knows? Come back over here. What are they doing for intelligence? Well, they're doing some book work. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Doing a little bit of bit book work. Awesome. Very cool stuff. And then look at that. More recruits come in. We're going to need to build another barrack. Let's do it. We got to do it. We have to do it. Housing. I feel like I need to put another private house down, too. We'll add that there. I kind of want to move that private house there. I don't want that one to be there. Is there a way to move stuff? I don't want to demolish it. I guess I could demolish it and then put a new one down. Ooh, there's a little bit of autosave. Love to see it. <clears throat> hey, Amy. How you doing, Amy? Haven't caught a line for a while. Glad to make this part of the of my morning uh, today. Hey, good to see you, Amy. Yeah. How you doing? What have we got going on here? Not enough, not enough electricity over here? Or not any electricity. Maybe not any electricity. Let's see. Power lines. Oh, yeah. You're just out of the reach. Let's see if I can go. Maybe there. Yes, sir. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll connect that together. So, I love to see the camp is in full swing. The hard training, the sun in your face, and the sobs of troops begging for mercy reminds me of the good old days. Time to take our training one step further. The rookies are ready for their specializations. <laughs> they will come from inexperienced weaklings to well-trained professionals. How exciting is that? I don't know if you've noticed each soldier's info panel allows you to choose which class you'd like them to specialize in and shows you what skills are required. When one of your soldiers meets the requirements, they will let you know that they are ready for a specialization. However, I recommend that you check our cadets are progressing from time to time. We need comms operator, but we can't promote one before building a comms operator specialization building. Once you have it, just go to the soldier's info panel, and from there, uh, bring up the specialization tree. It's that easy. A caveman can do it. Hey! I'll leave it to you. Make me proud. Very well. Let me just finish off this first. Let me finish off this. Please and thank you. Oh no, it's like one short. Oh, this is this is me. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. My my ability, my ability to bring to bring pa <laughs> my ability to bring power lines is so I, I mean, there's fine. That technically works for that street light, so that's good. Whatever. That's good. That, that that's fine. I don't want to make this a mess. So comms operator specialization increases experience in the comms operator specialization. We will place that down and we will put that. Uh, I don't see there being a problem to putting it right there. So there we go. We have that. So specialize the soldier into the comms operator class. Uh, let me go ahead and grab that soldier. I believe it was you. Yes. Yes, sir. Yep. We will specialize you now and uh, send it off. So yeah, promotion from or sorry, pr promotion form uh, Cheryl Scott 
Comms operator, new class. Current class, private, new class. Do we have to pay both of those or maybe not? I don't know if we have to pay both of those wages. Regardless, we are going to accept. Yes, sir. You're welcome. There we go. So congratulations, officer. We now have our first specialist. Our camp will be full of true professionals soon. Just give it time. As I already mentioned, we can make troops work the day or night shift, but that's not all. If you want, you can ask them to work more hours or give them some time off. This can be very useful when you're close to reaching a training target or if you think the soldiers need to rest and recover. But be careful, don't push the new people too hard or things could go badly. A tired cadet is more likely to get injured. Rest is just as important as work, if not more. Don't forget that. That said, uh, we can't let our troops take too many days off either or they'll get lazy. Anyway, I, I think you know everything there is to know about how we train our troops. It's time to get serious. We need to start running missions as soon as possible. Hey! In addition to comms operator, we need to train two artillery specialists. So get on it right away. Luckily, we are doing that. Once they're ready, we'll be able to stand up that stand up to that damnable dunderhead dragon. Hey. Let's get to work. Okay. So yeah, we have a few people doing the strength thing. That's good. Oh, look at them. Are they? Can we actually see their entertainment? Look at that. What the heck? One's playing pong. One's playing pinball. Is that ski ball? One's playing ski ball. One's hitting the thing thing doohickey. And then another one is actually playing uh, Hunt, the duck hunt game, the Nintendo duck hunt game. Good for them. They're all having a great time. Kind of reminds me of The Sims a little bit, in a way. Cool. <laughs> comes out Thursday? Yeah, if Thursday is March 2nd, then that's when it comes out. Yes. You did your chef. You did your first shift in Chef Life. My frites and meat and beans went cold. <laughs> hey, FM fan, how you doing? What's going on? Okay, so we're getting more recruits in. Might as well start adding more people to the to the list. There's no reason why not, uh, other than maybe money. And we're not making any money as is, but we're gonna get into that eventually. This is Javier Soto. Javier Soto is very good at the strength stuff, so we're going to add him to the strength building, and you will be hired. Thank you, Javier. Uh, this is Carla Vargas. Carla Vargas will be introduced into the intelligence. Heroic reduces the chance of squad mates not making it back from a mission by 15%. You will now be on intelligence training. Now, if I hire too many people, uh, they might have problems because I don't know if there will be, like, used up spots in the actual comms place or the training place. If too many people are training at once, I'm sure there's probably a queue or something, right? Okay, let's see here. Um, set your goal for strength. We want you to be artillery. Set you yes, to uh, comms. On your way. What do we have here? We have a guy who's really speedful. Who's sickly. I don't, really don't like that guy. This guy's kind of bad. Arthur Hernandez. Let's actually reject him. Let's take a look at you. Sleepyhead, yeah, let's actually reject you. Your stats are just terrible. I'm gonna be picky and choosy now, yeah. Strength is looking pretty good for Takayo. Wantanabi, Wantanabi, animal lover. Okay, you're getting hired straight up. Yeah. There you go, buddy. And then we'll set you a goal too. Yes, as well. sir. Your goal will be artillery also. Cool. Nice. Now we do have like a research tree that we'll probably get into. The game will uh, introduce us there. There's a tech tree right there. Get all different kinds of things. I'm not going to purchase anything right now because I'm going to wait until the tutorial's over before we do any of that. Before we uh, dive into this a little bit more freely. Hey, Alexandria. How you doing, Alexandria? Good to see you. Uh, let's see here. Do we not have any goals set here for these people? Let's make sure you're doing that. Yes, sir. Let's make sure you're doing that. Thank you. We just kind of let them do their thing and then we're going to specialize them yes, now, right? Sir. Specialize in artillery, right? You're ready. Yes, sir. You're ready for a promotion. Yes, sir. Are you ready for yes, a promotion? Sir. You are not ready for a promotion. Uh, so hang on a sec. In order to do to do this now, we're gonna need to get this artillery down. Let's go and put this right there, right next to the comms. Increases the experience of in art artillery specialization. Uh, that's good for us. Yes, uh, Do sir. you need to have a set goal now? No, you are just set on artillery for now. That's fine. We're just gonna need one more person. There we go. You're gonna go in there, right? What is that? What? What? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. Wait a sec. 
This activity will not improve. Yes, okay, you need to uh, not do that. You need to go into that. Copy that, boss. You're welcome. Go into the artillery specialization ASAP. Whenever you're done reading your book. <laughs> come on now, come on, come on, come on. You gotta come in here and I love... We're gonna see what these little animations do. Like, look at our comms operator over here. Doing that, training away. Oh, look at that, that's so cool. Very cool. And then this one for the artillery. It's going after Fozzy. I appreciate it. A couple more people coming in. Uh, who do we have here? Miguel Angel Gomez. 20 strength. All right, we'll add you to the list. I did not look. I need to look at his, like, negatives and positives. Yeah, I need to look at their buffs and all that, too. Yes, sir. Uh, let's set your goal to artillery and let that be good. I mean, uh, we're going to, like, beef up just have a bunch of artillery people, I guess, here in the beginning. Anybody yes, ready? Sir. Yep. Specialize. Yes, okay, sir. Good to go. And then for you, my good man, you should be ready to go into the next building. Never trust a blonde Hernandez or a redhead, redheaded Martinez. I know from experience. <laughs> yeah, the animations in this game are pretty fun, and they're really good. The recruits have become fully-fledged professionals. I think they're qualified to take on their first mission. Oh. Yes, sir! You're going to the right place, yeah? You're going to the right place. So wait a second. I see you haven't built a heliport yet. No, I have not, my good man. We can't send our people to the front uh, without a means of transportation. So let's fix that. Heliports are essential buildings for us. And they enable us to send our cadets on missions in other territories. Hi. It's essential that we build one as soon as possible. So let's get to it. Think carefully about where you want to put it. Try not to disturb the troops when they're resting. I can't imagine how loud a fully loaded chopper uh, could get. So put that way over here by the entertainment, probably. Should be fine. Uh, heliport. Yeah, put the heliport off over here. Right next to the rock. <laughs> when the helicopter comes back, just don't land on the rock. Just land in the where you need to land. Just don't land on the rock, please, and thank you. Oh my god, keep the pilot on uh, on <laughs> on their toes. Right, okay. We'll go ahead and add a power line going from Let's see how I want to do this. Uh, go this way with it. Perfect. Perfect. You. So start your engines, boys. It's time to fly. But what about girls? Let's check the map to see where we're needed. There's girls here too, man. All right, here's the map. It uh, looks like they're in urgent need of help in Rocky Appendix. <laughs> if you select the mission on the map, you will see the information on the requirements, troops we can send, and the reason for the mission. Let's see here. It seems the citizens of Rocky Appendix are desperate. Dragon has banned cabbage in their territory. Well, how dare they? How dare they? <laughs> cabbage is, na is a national delicacy. Stuffed cabbage, cabbage soup, cabbage pie, ah, classic sauerkraut. Uh, they even ban Brussels sprouts. You know, the ones people like to saute in butter? So delicious, yeah. Oh. My God, it's just so heartless and cruel. Hey. These people can't live without cabbage. We have to do something immediately. Select the troops you want to send on to the mission. At the bottom, you can send see their probability of victory in percent. The better trained the troops we send are, the more likely we are to succeed in with that mission. As you can see, each mission has requirements we have to meet. This one asks us to send one comms operator into artillery specialists. If we succeed, we will have more money for our camp. So come on, let's go with it. These people can't uh, hold on a minute longer. So I believe there's about 100 missions in this game too. So if you're wondering how many missions there are, I believe you start out with 100 missions. So just be mindful of that. It's quite a bit, right? It's definitely a bit. Uh, so the people of Rocky Appendix are desperate. That evil dragon has banned all cabbage. Can you believe it? It's a local specialty and the people are going crazy. Fortunately, dragon's forces are pretty weak here. This is a perfect opportunity to put what we've learned into practice. Put together a squad of our best communication specialists and artillery troops and show that villain what we're made of. Uh, these people can't live without their cabbage. We have to give them, a, give them hope again. Well, I agree. <laughs> the comms operator. Sure thing. Artillery. All right. And artillery. Copy that, boss. Go be dead, boys. Um, your battle rank is 227. The enemy's rank is 150. If we are to win this mission, uh, it looks like our chances are pretty pretty good. If we are to win this mission, we should get $6,500 doll hairs, and we will start the mission. There goes the chopper. Head on over to the mission. Oh, you love to see it. This is our base. 
So now what happens is that mission will take X amount of time. You can see the percentage there. Uh, you can see it in the top right hand corner, the available mission. And the best thing about this map is that you can zoom out and zoom in. So anytime you want to zoom out and zoom in, that's a nice feature, right? Very, very fluent, easy, love it. You don't have to press another key or anything like that. Uh, do we have another specialization here? I think yes, we do. Sir. Comms operator. We will then do that. I have another yes, comms sir. operator. Cool. Overall, I think we're doing pretty damn good. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> hey, Ambers. How you doing, Ambers? Uh, I think we have another one. A couple more. Yes, sir. We'll put you on uh, artillery. Yes, artillery. Yes, sir. Get you on artillery and get you on artillery yes, as sir. well. Specialize. There yes, sir. I wonder actually when they are doing specialization, does it increase their uh, their stat here? Maybe, yeah. Or should I be training them up to like 100 and then specializing them? Maybe I should be doing that. Maybe I should be waiting until they get 100 and then specializing them. But maybe it doesn't matter. Look at that. He's like doing the, the world's strongest man challenge over here. Same with him. My goodness gracious. All for artillery, baby. Okay. We have a couple more recruits that want to join the cause. Who do we have here? We have Ai Yoshida. Who is... is, is I. She's Ai. I would hire her for strength. Mainly, I guess, right? Hey, Macy. How you doing, Macy? Cabbage pie. You like cabbage pie? What about Cabbage Patch? Anybody Cabbage Patch? Uh, let's switch you to the strength and uh, let's hire you. You don't seem too, too ridiculous. Uh, you can be either strength or um, intelligence. We'll do intelligence. A handy woman, Sophie Johnson. Uh, purple hair. Love it. Uh, let's go for it. Yeah. You are Harry White and you are definitely in the uh, intelligence, but you are beefy. So your strength improves 25% faster. Even though his intelligence is high, I, I think we send him off to strength because we got to use that, right? He's a beefy, he's a beefcake, basically. <laughs> we'll do that as well. Uh, we have a full 14 out of 14 on our barracks. Let's go yes, and set sir. these people some skull, uh, skulls. Goals, you are doing, where are you going? You are heading to the intelligence, so we'll put you on intelligence, comms operator. Yes, And then sir. you are going to be set to strength, artillery. And yes, you are going to be set to uh, artillery as well. And we're eventually, we're going to need to probably uh, get in another uh, another barracks. Yeah. Have a good one, Peter. Do take care. Hey, Mrs. Osier, how you doing? All right. Let's see. Let's go for another barracks. Go another one right over here. Add a little road to that as well. Keep that coming. Perfect. I assume food and everything is going swell, well, easy, yeah, possibly. We'll just wait for this mission to complete. It's almost done. Harry White. Now they just looking at my grinder. <laughs> Love it. Uh, I guess we can click on this little thing here too. Uh, to Takio, Takayo, and Yosoku. Yosoku. Let's take a look at these people. Takayo seems pretty okay. We'll hire him for intelligence. And then let's right. see what else we have. Uh, Yosoku. Uji. Uh, we'll hire you for intelligence. I know that strength is more, but we'll hire you for intelligence because we don't have a lot of intelligence. Could hire medics and all that eventually. We're going to have to. Yeah. Let's give them yes, some goals. Sir. Your goal will be uh, comms, obviously. Here we go. Then you as well, you'll be comms also. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. There you go. Cool. I So far, I'm liking the layout, I think. I think everything's going well. Hopefully. There's our mission. Hooray! We did it. Nobody died. Nobody got hurt, I don't think, maybe. It was a fine victory. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody died. So we saved the cabbages and saved the world. Hooray! And we got money. And we got a cutscene, I think. <laughs> oh, we have unlocked that uh, that area now. So that's awesome. Hey, FitRed. How you doing, FitRed? I get to catch two streams in one day. I won the lottery today. Yo, I love to hear that. Hooray, you saved us, says the villager. 
That despicable dragon had us on bread and water. He took away our cabbage and made us burn our entire crop. A lot of good cabbage died on that horrible summer evening. Yeah. Yes, I propose that we erect a statue for our fallen cabbage. And from now on, this day shall be remembered as Cabbage Day. <clears throat> well, uh, yeah. Yeah! We shall cook cabbage for breakfast, cabbage for lunch, and cabbage for dinner. We shall bring offerings to the cabbage god, and... Enough! I think you are getting a bit too excited for this. Yes! We could do that, or maybe, uh, well, maybe we don't do any of that, and we just focus on rebuilding the city. That sounds better. You sound like yourself again. I thought I had lost you there for a sec. Please, Sergeant, uh, you have to do something. Our friends from the Southern Territories have told us that their situation is starting to get very, very bad. Uh, Jantine, Jantine Roosevelt, Roosevelt, one of Dragon's top three generals, rules with an iron fist. She doesn't mess around, so be careful. Uh, Victory! Well done, guys. You did a great job. Hmm. The people of Rocky Appendix can now live in peace. You've all earned some rest. And the good news, don't stop there. We've earned some extra money as we get to use on upgrading the camp. Every time we reclaim a territory, we bring in more funding for our cause. The more territories we liberate, the more economic support we will have. This will allow us to upgrade our camp and train more troops. But we aren't just here to take territories back. We also have to maintain good relations with the towns inside of them. Each town has a popularity rating that we have to monitor. If this rating is high enough, we gain additional funds to take on Dragon. Uh, troops coming in, uh, coming from those towns will have better traits. Plus, we'll see or we'll get special deals with suppliers there. To improve relations with the towns, we can attend to, the, to their needs and respond to their requests. Our reputation improves as we resolve their issues. However, not helping them or failing in our efforts to help them could have the opposite effect. Also, if you see that a town that has a low popularity but no active requests, you can help them by sending personnel to serve their, uh, serve their, serve them there permanently. Towns often need medicine or maintenance or other issues to solve, so keep an eye out. Treat the different towns well, and they will support us unconditionally. Only if we remain united, we can then defeat Dragon. Sounds good to me. Wow. So, you learn fast. I like seeing that enthusiasm in the people I work with, so keep it up. We still have one important topic to cover, however, and I think you'll like it. It's called technology. Our enemy uses state-of-the-art equipment. It is the key. We do the same. In addition to constructing buildings and recruiting soldiers, we need to improve our infrastructure and research new technologies. To do this, we use research points. We earn these points at the research lab, where our best minds are focused on studying and learning everything they can to improve our camp. Thanks to their tireless effort, we can earn research points that we can redeem for new advances of the new technology. Sounds good, yeah? Build a research lab and hire a researcher. Once we have one, I'll tell you a bit more about the tech tree. Very good. I'm I I'm 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 all for it, yeah? Bop, bop. Generates research points. Now where am I gonna put this research? I guess I can slide it in right there. Or I can slide it in right there. If I slide it in right there, that gives me a little bit of a room to kind of work with if I want to go this way with my path. Possibly. Like, all the way across. Oh, look at the comms operator now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're shooting machine guns. All right. You're artillery, man. That's the uh, research room. That looks really cool. Of course, my forehead might have blocked that most of it, but you know, it is there. Uh, <clears throat> right, so let's see here. So deforestation in the valley. That is another new mission now. That's going to take, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So deforestation in the valley. Uh, this is going to take an engineer, explosive engineer, and it's going to take two infantry soldiers as well. We'll read into that later when we get those people. But for right now, we need to focus on other things. Hire a researcher. Uh, I want someone who is capable of the job. Um, somebody with high intelligence, possibly. Be real, none of y'all are f kind of fit that bill. Um, can I pass on you and instead send you to strength? Emma Levin, Levine? Emma Levine? Hey, what are you doing? That's not a specialization I asked for. Here, let me show you how this works. Once you've successfully completed a mission, you can hire whoever you want. Damn it. So they're forcing us to hire which either one. Okay, so I guess I'll just do Emma, I guess. 
It's not what I wanted. I'll tell you what you wanted, my good man. Accommodation building. Uh, you should be in the barracks. Yeah. Woohoo! Woohoo! So well done. We're all set to start researching new technologies now. Luckily, I set aside a few research points for when you were ready. We could use them to improve our current infrastructure, but uh, we're going to start by developing a new building. We'll start by developing the Explosive Engineer Specialization Building. This will provide us with a new type of specialty training that is essential for some missions. Later on, you will also be able to develop defensive uh, structures and alternative energy sources. There's a lot to choose from. Take a look. Is that clear? Now develop this new technology and start upgrading our camp. And don't forget to upgrade your other buildings from time to time. Don't let Dragon beat us uh, in the science race. Kind of reminds me of the science race. Reminds me of the old civilization days, yeah? Tech tree. They want us to do an explosive engineer. Not to be confused with explosive diarrhea. Yeah. <clears throat> this takes place in either Ireland or South Korea. <laughs> Have a good one, Blossom. Do take care. <clears throat> you have watermelon as my dinner? Oh, dude. Let me in some of that. Watermelon. Explosive engineer. Buy that. Uh, one military camp is now fully operational. Little by little, we will recover the other territories from Dragon's clutches. That no nothing, good for nothing, spineless, he's getting on my nerves. My biggest regret is not getting, uh, not being able to confront him face to face. While the others went to fight, I had to stay at the rear. Someone had to train the new batch of recruits. Oh. How frustrating. We have to put an end to his plans and restore play, uh, peace to these lands. Our first victory gives hope and that we will need to succeed. I've taught you all the basics of getting the camp up and running, but uh, there are still many things we will have to talk about during your adventure. Mm. <laughs> I believe that you will defeat Dragon. Together we will end his reign of evil. Well we will take back every territory in the country and drive the vermin from our lands. Good luck. We will try. Well then. Good. So we have the, uh, what is it? We have the, oh God, what's going on over here? So I think the, 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 the hand holding is done. Uh, we need to ammo stock. Can we restock that? Yeah, we're going to need to restock this. Um, hang on a sec. We've got a couple things. So no supplies. So ask your maintenance workers to restock this building. I might need to hire another maintenance worker, to be honest with you. Uh, so that's going to be that. Ready for specialization yes, is Miguel. I love this little attention thing here. That's really nice. Uh, we will specialize. Yes, you will be specialized in artillery. Yes, sir. Even though, like, we are running low. Uh, so let's see. Where is our maintenance people? Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. We actually click on maintenance themselves. Yeah, you can. Cool. Yes, sir. So if I tell, I think I'm gonna have to. I really am gonna have to like uh, hire more maintenance people. You can actually upgrade this too, right? We should be able to restock this, right? So I don't know if this is toggled on or toggled off. On. Maybe? Is that toggled on or off? Who knows? <laughs> uh. <laughs> let's see, all right, let's see what she does. Yes, sir. Would you like to come here and help us? Yes, sir. I need you to okay. force, no, not force the main activity. Oh my God. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Right. You can have an accommodating building building as well. No, we're not gonna put you in there though. I'm assuming this will be done. I'm assuming. I don't know if this is toggled on or off though. That's the only problem. Uh, let's go ahead and hire some more maintenance people regardless. We'll build a, a couple of private buildings too for them. Little private houses. Go that way with it. That way. And then we'll add a couple of roads. That looks so awful. Why did I do it that way? It's whatever. They will love it. They will love it. Trust me. All right. Who wants to be a maintenance person? Yeah. Let's do it. Have a good night, Natalie. Do take care. Um, let's see here. You are a Tiranish. 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 I might have butchered that name. You will be. Would you on maintenance? 
put you on maintenance. Put you on a private house as well. What do you got? Milika, Milica, 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 heroic reduces the chance of squad mates not making it back home from a mission. That sounds pretty sick. Put you in intelligence, if you don't mind. <laughs> you are Tina Clark. Tina Clark. You're pretty good too, Tina. <laughs> add, add you as infantry. Defense knowledge experience as a security officer increases 25% more. You are a strength guy. Robert Clark. Yeah. Not to be confused yeah. with Robert California either. Bring it. You will never defeat me. <laughs> Are the warehouses full? Ah, uh, let's see here. Oh, we need an ammo warehouse, right? We need an ammo warehouse. Uh, did we, I can't remember. Did we not put it down in ammo? We might not have put down an ammo warehouse. For some reason, I thought we did, but maybe we didn't. I'll think about it. Uh, let's see. Where would that be? Where would we be? Logistics. Yeah, logistics. Fuel. Ammo. Yeah, we didn't have an ammo wa warehouse. Duh. Uh, we'll put that right there. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Put it right there. Okay, there'll be ammo there so that we can take care of that. The fuel should be fine for the generator. We should have good sense there. That should be good. And then this, let's go ahead and just uh, buy from, what's this called? Bullets, Bombs, and Beyond. Not to be confused with Bed, Bath, and Beyond. I will order the full send. For some reason, I thought we had the ammo uh, cache over here, but maybe not. Obviously not. <laughs> There we go. Maintenance. You can take care of yourself finally. My goodness gracious. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, specialize. Yes, we will specialize you in comms. Yes, sir. And guys, we're going to have a lot of comms. I don't know if this is actually a very good idea for me to do, but regardless, we're doing it. Uh, ready to specialize. A few more people. Uh, let's go back to uh, notifications. Yeah, they should be fine. They should be setting up here soon. We'll let that kind of pan out a bit. What do we have here? Building list? What's the building list? Notification? What is this? Okay, that's the artillery. Good to know. A couple more recruits. Let's take a look at the tech tree. What is this? Infantry specialist. Yes, we're going to need that too. Go. Infantry specialist. I'm going to build that. Uh, da, da. Speed, training. Now, I wonder what you... Probably need accuracy for... Um, for infantry specialists. Put that bad boy right there, right next to the ammo cache. Yeah, right next to the ammo cache. And I want this to kind of be a road in between. There we go. So then here, um, increases experience in infantry specialization. This is where they learn how to hit a moving target. Yeah, so it has to be full accuracy there. We're going to have to start hiring people and start training them in the, uh, in the, in the accuracy department. Let's see here. What's your accuracy? 10? That's crap. Jaden Rogers? Isabella Vera? You have good accuracy. Can we put you in uh, in that? Yeah? In the... Uh... Would that be considered defense? No, it'd just be infantry. They just would specialize it. We need to make a training for it, right? Yeah, that's a specialization. We need to make the training for it now. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Accuracy. Put that right here. Okay, danger power. Yeah, rightfully so. Go like this. Go all the way around. Go. Don't beep at me. I'm going to beep you off here. There we go. Should be fine. There we go. Add this to this. And then add a road to it. Go up here. Okay, what are we looking at overload here? Are we looking at still overload? 68%? Eh, not too bad. Okay, so 68% across the board. That's fine for now. 
So now we'll have the accuracy training so then we can get people into the accuracy training, get them into the infantry and all that. So that's fine. Uh, we got a couple of people that are ready to yes, be kind of sent to the next thing. We'll send you off to the next thing. Yes, sir. Send you yes, off sir. to the next thing as well. Yes, sir. I have a feeling we're going to be taking casualties before you know it. Uh, you need yes, a set sir. goal. You are in strength. So let's put you in artillery. Since you are there in strength, you yes, are in intelligence. So let's make sure that you're doing comms. Uh, speed. We're yes, going to need to have to do speed eventually. What are you doing? Are you like just tired? What is this? What, what is this? Is this tired? What is that? What are you? What is that cloud? I'm assuming it's some sort of... Activity will not improve specialization's yes, performance. You're just a maintenance person. You don't need to worry about anything. Your main building is maintenance. Oh, because there's only two. Okay, we need another maintenance building. Got it. Got it. Uh, give me another maintenance building. Give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. Logistics, maintenance. We can slide that bad boy right there. Perfect. And then you... Yes, sir. ...will be switched over to maintenance. Roger that! You're welcome! All right. I think it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. <clears throat> hey, Jet. How you doing? Hey, Patrick. How's it going? Or is Kasim when you need him? I know, right? <laughs> All right, everybody's going to be doing good. Uh, a couple more people yes, are ready sir. for specialization. We'll give them the specialization that they want. Yes, sir. Same yes, sir. You. Thank you. Yes, sir. Very yes, sir. white. Yes, sir. Okay, we'll take care of that. Let's go back over here to the cadets. Where are we at in the barracks? We have two more open beds. Two more open beds. Uh, Finley Thompson. I'm not really impressed by you. Isabel, Isabella. Ooh, Isabella, I am actually kind of impressed for you to do accuracy for us. So you will be hired. You, Jaden Rogers. You could do speed. But we don't really need that right now. We don't need, uh, need speed at the moment. Um, <laughs> might wait on you, my good man. I might wait on you just half a second. Wait, do we have someone coming in right now? We do. Zoe Longoria. Mm. Uh, maybe. Yes, sir. Let's set her goal to infantry, and then let's grab Zoe, and we'll put Zoe on accuracy training as well. All right. And we'll set your goal to infantry also, and then we're gonna need to build another barracks. Yeah, we're gonna need to build another barracks. Let's see, let's see. Home. Kind of going down the line. I don't know if it's a bad idea or a good idea to do this, but we're doing it. What I want to do also is to make it kind of easier for them to get to the canteen. Maybe make a little road going that way. Yeah, and then we'll go ahead and put some power over here. Uh, let's see. This way with it. <laughs> no, it looks ugly. Don't make it look ugly. You can do this. You can do this. Perfect. Perfect. Even though I think that still is like a big danger. We're going to need another... Um, we're going to need another generator here soon before you know it. I take casualties every time you stream. There you, there you go. That's how you... That's exactly it right there. So accuracy is going down. Once they're done with the accuracy, we'll send them over to the uh, specialization. Looks like we have a couple of people ready to yes, do this sir. too. Specialize in uh, comms. Yes, sir. Specialize in strength, artillery. I wonder if we'll be able to like, kind of like, uh, wait a sec. We want you to go to artillery. Oh, eight out of eight. Okay, we got to wait for you then. You're not ready yet. We, we, we just don't have enough room in there. When they're done specializing, they should be done done. Yeah, I think, right? Hopefully done done. As in done done, like they're good. They they don't have to keep staying there. We have any more uh interesting people that we can get for like possibly slow recovery. I don't like that. Wanna. Jaden. Okay. Let's go to the map. What do we got going on at the map? We haven't really clicked on the map a lot. So we have uh what is this? Top bun. 
which this is where we're ordering uh, our food right now. We have the bullets, bombs, and beyond, which is where we're getting our ammo from. This is checks on the beach. It's perfectly legal. Grab a cocktail and relax. You can get a loan if you want. Okay, right. And we have one sanitary camp. This is no warehouse. Okay, this is where our medicine will come from. And this eventually will be our uh, giddy up here once we get our engineers and our um, infantry. I guess one engineer and then our other our, our, our infantry done. Artillery, artillery, comms, infantry specialization. Uh, wait a sec. Where's our engineer? Do we have the engineer going on right now? Maybe we don't have the engineer going on right now. Research lab, comms. I don't think we do. Uh, frick, frick, freaking frack. Let's look in here. Let's look in here. Uh, oh, we did. Explosive engine. No, yeah, we do. It's right here, right? No, that's the research. Yeah, that is the research. We don't have the uh, infantry. We don't have it. Oh, frick. Yeah, we don't have it. Okay, well, all right. Well, I thought we had it, but no, we did not. Explosive. <laughs> Hey, Kilmowski, how you doing? Sorry for the small amount, but iOS controls it. Uh, how you doing? Good to see you. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the super chat. I guess we'll go here with it. And then engineer is improved through speed, yeah? And then we'll do a speed training as well. And we'll get ready for that. Aha, uh -huh. where's our power at now? Who has high speed now? Uh, Finley Thompson, no. Wana, good. Recovery, F. Uh, Zion, glutton, needs for need for food faster. Okay. Uh, Rhea, ooh. Wow, you're actually pretty decent, yo, my man. Let's put you. All right. Hire you. Finley, we will hire you. Oh, man. <laughs> Tired of the waiting for the recruit. Yes, That's sir. fine. We'll hire Bella, too, if you haven't uh, noticed. Uh, we'll go there. That's speed, right? I can't tell. I guess that is speed. And then we will go you yes, and sir. also set you to engineer. Or explosive engineer. Sick. I think I might actually put another entertainment building down, too. Like, this seems like... I mean, maybe it's enough. They're, like, playing VR and stuff in here. I don't know. They're watching Seinfeld. No, there's no TV in here. What the... There you have... Well, okay, maybe it's World War something, so they probably didn't have TVs, you know, <laughs> in military camps. Not saying ever, you know, not saying, like, World War II didn't have that, but you know what I'm saying. Like, probably not as, uh, not as, uh, <laughs> not as, yes, not sir. as common everywhere. Bella, I don't need to hire you, do I? I guess that's a no. Um, we're still loaded up on the artillery specialist, right? Again, I'm not sure how and if when they are done, they are yes, done. Sir. I guess they would have to go to the next tier. Yeah. So they would have to go to the next tier if we wanted to do that. Okay. I, I feel you. I could make another artillery, uh, like hat, not hat, uh, specialist camp. Yeah. Yeah, Bella, Bella has had two types of participation today. Yes, sir. That's true. Uh, do I need to get another private house? I do need to get another private house for uh, our maintenance soldiers. So let's do that too. Whoa, hang on. Let's do that too. Let's make another private house for that maintenance person. Private house. What's that right there? Make this ridiculous like open pathway that we got going on here. We're also going to need to bring over an electricity. A little bit electric, please. I just want that to make sure it's on the same line. Oh, it's not going to be on the same line regardless. It's going to be a little cockeyed. Okay, let's go to that maintenance crew. Put them in a in a house. Hello? Yes, sir! You are tired. Are you, like, falling asleep at the wheel? You're not. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay. You should be able to recover in there. Okay, good. Uh, over here, accuracy accuracy training. We have a, a soldier ready to, to be specialized in infantry now. So that's good. Let's do that right away. Uh, put you through. Uh, 
Yep, infantry yes, specialization. So in here for the training, this is what they're doing for training. This isn't specialization, of course. This is kind of cool. We haven't seen this building yet. Oh, damn. Ouch. Damn, she's kind of a badass. And then we have our speed training going on over here. As you can see. Let's see how these fools are going. Are they running through? Look at them run. Run, 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 run. It, it does, it, like I said, it reminds me a lot of like Two Point Campus. It has that kind of like, uh, I don't know. It's it's that charm to it, so to speak. Now we just need a DJ to spit us good nothings. That guy just fell. Cool. Oh, is she ready to go too now? She is ready yes, to go sir. too. Thanks. Specialize you. Let's get you going. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Nice. And then they'll come off over here. So this ammo warehouse is actually, uh, it's, 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 it's going out pretty fast. <laughs> Going out pretty fast. $78,000, though. We're fine. Let me see where... So they go into... The accuracy people go into this one. So this is their specialization now. What do they do here? Do they, like, take apart their weapon? Clean their weapon? Yeah, they are definitely doing that. They're taking apart the weapon, cleaning the weapon. Every soldier, every infantry soldier should know how to disassemble their entire gun and put it back together. No problem. Your gun is your lifeblood. What the heck? She's shooting targets? That's really cool. I'm having a good time. I will say, I'm having a good time. I want to see what they're going to do in the um, explosive one. We'll wait until these guys are ready to go. How many? Uh, let's see here. Two out of seven on our, on that. Let's see if anybody else is worth uh, worthwhile here. Arthur Baker, uh, we have Zion still. Party animal. You know what? Let's just actually get Zion out of here. I'm not interested in you, Zion. Uh, Sato here, party animal, loses motivation faster. I, really, I'm not interested either. Uh, not interested in your ridiculousness. Hiroko, uh, not interested in the glutton. Sprinter speeds improves 25% faster. I like that. Sickly does hurt, but... We need that. We need this. Um, so we're going to put you into the speed training. We're going to hire you. A dragon. Dude, his name's Dragon. Should we just cap him now? <laughs> Should we just take him out back? <laughs> Should we old yeller him? What's going on here? We'll hire him. Christine Brown, also a sprinter. Jinx, though, increases the chance of getting hurt while on a mission. Uh, right. Uh, let's put you in speed. Sprinter. How are you, Christine? I'll set you guys' goals here. Your goal is to become an explosive engineer. Your goal yes, is to also become an explosive engineer. And then you, Arthur Baker. Um, I could put you in accuracy. We'll put you in accuracy. And your goal is to become an infantry unit. Cool. Oh, very happy. Two more open spots in the barracks as well. How's our tech tree going? Let's see what, what, what we can do in the tech tree, yeah? Nothing. Doesn't look like we have anything available to us at this moment. That's fine. What is this money thing? Economy window. Wow. Daily expenses and your daily income? Holy crap. Ask for a loan? I mean, really, no. But that's kind of cool that you see. So your total income comes from liberated territories nice you can see how much money you're gonna be losing a day also nice really cool way better uh <laughs> this is for, <laughs> for a game like this way better expenses and income than there ever was in definitely not fried chicken you know <clears throat> honestly concerned if a shooting happened near me i wouldn't even flinch it's an ar-15 what about it <laughs> There we go. Whew. All right. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So we're good. I think we're good. Uh, uh, we just need to get this one more uh, specialization in uh, engineer, which these guys are doing their damn bestest to do it. They're going through the tires and going through all this and whatnot and all that. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look on Sophia. How's Sophia Sir. doing? Sophia is the, yeah, Sophia is the engineer. I think Sophia just needs to take a break. Uh, 
I or no. Let's just force Copy him to go that, on boss. break. There you go, Sophia. Have a good one, Susie. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Is very hungry. Yes, sir. Sophia, why don't you go eat? Go eat at the canteen, yeah? If you're very hungry, go eat. We got enough food at the canteen. Okay, we do have now a specialist, uh, a speed specialist yes. ready to go. Let's go and specialize them now. They will be heading over to the explosive engineer. Yes, and they should be going here, and we are going to see what that's all about. That should be fun. We might lose some artillery people, but if that's if that's the case, if we lose artillery people, that's all right, because we have a lot of people ready to kind of giddy up behind them. Okay, let's get this guy going. This is the last bit we need to do for the next mission. Just have this guy. So we can have, up at the top, you can have 30, we have 32 out of 100 population, so you can have like 100 population, yeah? Okay, here we go. What the hell? Okay. This is kind of cool. Okay, yeah, he just works on that. Don't, uh, don't cut the wrong wire, my good man, and you'll be okay. Oh, God, he has, like, a vest now. He has, like, a vest of, like, explosives. Either that or they're, like, a vest of Mountain Dews. Okay, nice. I approve. So, in the meantime, let's head on over to the missions now, and let's see. The deforestation in the valley, so Curl, Curl Valley was once was once one of the most verdant areas of lush grassland. Before all this, it used to be a forest, but the that damn dragon deforested it to create a place for military maneuvers. We are going to teach him a lesson. Send a few explosive engineers to wreak havoc. I bet they're not expecting that, but careful, don't send them alone. Deploy some infantry to support them uh, from distance. With their help, I'm sure we'll take care of it. Our explosive engineer. Consider it done, boss. Our infantry. Our infantry. Our infantry. Consider it done, boss. Okay. Both infantries. With a rank of 219 and a rank of 150. $6,500. If we win this battle, we will send them off. There they go. How cool is that? Looks like there's like some sort of like boss battle here or something. Like 100% health. All right. So that will be uh, pushed in play. In the meantime, we can go back home and worry about adding to the next thing. This is yes, Sophia sir. again. No, this is uh, this is Robert. Robert, you need to eat, buddy. You need to eat and you need to go uh, on energy. So we're going to force you to rest. Make sure to eat. Please and thank you. What is this? Uh, da, 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 da. Is very hungry. Why is all my maintenance people all hungry? Can't you all just, like, go eat at the canteen? You should be able to. Okay. Let's see. Any new recruits? Party animal. Get out of here. Uh, you, Cynthia Johnson, possibly. Engineer, Stephen Wright. Uh, I don't know what that says. Diurnal? 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 Stamina decreases 10% uh, slower during the day. Okay. That's perfect. Uh, intelligence. You'd be a good intelligence guy. Really, you'd be a good anything. Handy experience as maintenance worker increases 25% faster. Let's hire you as a maintenance worker then. Woo! Ah, she's upset. She's been fired. <sighs> what just happened? She's been f hired and fired? What in the hell just happened? <laughs> okay. Right. Let's put you on speed. That was insane. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> hey. Hired and fired instantly? Who fired her? That's what I'm saying. Who the hell fired her? That wasn't me. I didn't fire her. Yes, sir. Uh, you are part of the speed training, so you're going to go for engineer. Give me engineer. Yes, sir. You are part of the intelligence group, so go and run the intelligent comms operator, please. Thank you. What the hell happened there? What's going on here? 
No personnel working in the building at the moment. Do we need more cooks? We might need more cooks. We might need more cooks. Sir, do you want to be a cook? Huh? Stephen Wright? You want to be a cook? You want to be a cook? You got some good uh, speed? Make you a cook? There's no canteen available slots? Uh, no, there is. Maybe? Maybe there isn't? No, two out of two. What the heck is going on here with these, with these buildings? Okay, I guess they're just not working at this moment. Okay, well, alright. Maybe they're just resting. Okay, now somebody's working there. Right. We're okay, I think. All the, uh, are, are the chefs all on night shift? I don't think so, are they? Yes, sir. Are you on night shift? You're on daytime, right? Yeah, you're on day shift. And then you... I think we have a night shift cook and a day shift cook. Two stars to get yes, uh, more sir. people in there. Yeah, you're night shift. Yeah. <clears throat> I know, bad choice. Bad choice. This person's fired immediately. What the frick was that? <laughs> The game looks amazing. This will be another game I get. Great live. Oh, thank you very much. Have a good one, Mrs. Hosier. Yeah, do take care. Do take care. And thank you very much. Did I force all the maintenance workers to be on break all at the same time? Copy that, boss. Get on! Yes, sir. Okay. Do your job. I didn't think I did all of them. No, this person isn't. Okay. I think there's only two people, right? No? Yes, sir. Yeah, it was two people I did. Okay. There we go. Do your jobs. We're good. We're good. Two out of the four workers. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, this is done. Let's take a look. Just another victory. Another victory. <laughs> nice work, squad. You're very freaking welcome. Okay, so... $6,500 is in our pockets. That's decent. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. Well, it keeps us above uh, sea level. So what's that sound? Oh, my God. Hmm. Sounds like an incoming transmission. Soldier, respond immediately. Oh, look at that. Julie Le Leroux? Leroux? Does anyone read? Calling all allied forces. Agent on urgent mission. Please respond. Hey! Here the puppy's going. Sergeant John Hawkins speaking from one military camp. Identify yourself. <laughs> Finally, you can't imagine how glad I am to hear your voice, Sergeant. Julie uh, LaRoe. LaRoe's? Reporting from behind enemy lines. Okay. Whoa. Wait a sec. Julie? Can't believe. Uh, we thought you had been captured. Where are you? What happened during all this time? Status report. Hmm. I'm in enemy territory, Sergeant. I was assigned to track dragons of movement during the war, and I lost contact with Richard when... With Richard? <laughs> with HQ when his generals attacked the, the southern territories. I thought he had lost. Hmm. Since then, I stayed hidden among the enemies. Hmm. I've been sending a distress signal every day, hoping to find someone, but I never got any answer. <laughs> I'm so glad you got it. It must have been horrible, Julie, but there's still hope. We have a, we have a new base, and we are mustering our forces. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to begin a counter-offensive soon. What's the situation for our enemy? I think, uh, I believe in this game, they attack your base, too. Everything seems quiet, uh, but I'm starting to notice some strange movements. Dragon's army is very interested in the mines in the eastern territories. I don't know what he's planning yet, but here, repression and absurd laws are on the order of the day. But there's something even more urgent. I discovered something that could change the balance in our favor. But first, I need you to get me out of here. Huh? What? What is it? You. What did you find out? Hmm. I still need confirmation, Sergeant. Uh, but I believe this could change everything. I will fill you in on the details when we meet. But I need you to get me out of here first. I'm in great land. I infiltrated Jantine Roosevelt's, Roosevelt's forces. Jantine is nuts. She's ramping up the repression and... Damn it. We got company. I'll contact you later. 
You have to get me out of here ASAP. I don't know how much longer I can take. Help me, Sergeant Hawkins. You're my only hope. <laughs> oh, help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. See you soon. Really? Hmm. All right. Looks like we lost contact. You heard here. We have to go uh, get... We have to get to the Great Land. Uh, what she said about Gentine worries me. Uh, let's hope she doesn't give us too much trouble. Stick to the plan. We have to keep taking territories back and get Julie out of the hornet's nest as soon as possible. I believe in you, soldier. All right. Infiltrate and rescue. Sick. I don't yes, want to monitor them. There we go. Yes, sir. Done. Okay. All right. With that being said, we're going to need... Oh, my God. We have so many artillery. We're going to need one more engineer specialist, which is fine because it's coming up very soon. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, that's called stopping power. The next mission would be here, I guess. Cool. Sick. We have plenty of artillery. Did we get anything new here? I, you know what? We haven't actually had a medical person in either. They haven't told us anything about medical. I'm assuming maybe. Maybe. There's a lot of people ready for specialists. Put that away for now. <laughs> Put that away for now. I don't want to build a whole nother specialization building just because... Uh, let's take a look at our research tree. Tech tree. Still not enough. Uh, you know what? Actually, we could probably think about hiring a researcher, too. What are yes, you complaining sir. about? Uh, you must assign a valid building. Do we not have enough private houses for you? Oh, we don't have enough private houses for you. All right. Well, let me get you a private house. Let's see. Go here. Private room. There you go. It's really far out, but hopefully you don't mind. There you go. Where are you? There you go. You better have a room too. What is your deal? Yes, sir. I'll see you in a sec. Uh, put you in there. Roger that. You should be good. And then what's your deal? Building is at capacity and cannot be used. Talk about the barracks? Yes, sir. Did we hire too many people? All right, well, in that case, let's build more barracks. We are. Dun, dun, yes, dun, sir. Dun, 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 dun. Put you Roger in there. That. Yes, sir. What? Everybody just like lose a barrack or something? Okay. What the hell? Yes, sir. This is so strange. Roger that. What the heck happened? Yes, sir. Uh... You're good. Yes, sir. You're good. Yes, sir. You should be good. Consider it done. Put you in new ones? Consider it done, boss. Oh, you must be talking about the artillery specialist. That might be it. Okay, well, in that case, my bad. Um, it doesn't say specifically. I thought it was accommodations. But let's... Okay, let's look at you. Let's put you on different things. Let's put you on other things. Let's set your goal to... Let's go to... Um, Let's actually see here. Let's see. Let's go speed. Yeah, speed. Speed would be the next tier thing for an aviator. So let's put you on speed. Yes, sir. Put you there. Put you over there. All right. Yes, All sir. Right. Copy that. Yes, boss. sir. There you go. Copy I'll go that, work boss. on speed. Get up out of here. Dismiss. Yes, you, sir. I'm so sorry for you. Uh, you with the comms operator, let's throw you on and let's see. So you would be high intelligence. What would go good with intelligence? Also speed to become a spy. If you were to do that. Uh, right. Yes, sir. You, what are you complaining about now? Activity will improve. This activity will not improve specialization performance. That's fine. I don't mind that. It's all right. Let's just set your goal to... Um, well, we don't want you to, I guess, specialize that right now, right? Just do that job for now. Get your stats up in that so that later down the road we can deal with that. You, yes, sir. I think we're going to do the same thing with speed. So let's move you over to speed for now. Copy that, boss. I could build more buildings, but I, I'm trying not to do that. Because I want to upgrade these buildings more than anything. Yeah, we could train some soldiers at night, too. Yeah. And there's only five out of eight in here, so I don't know what the hell they were complaining about, really. But, yeah, we'll have to see. 
We'll have to see. I could switch him over to, to nighttime. I'm not too worried about it right now, though. I mean, as is, we have already a lot of artillery. We might lose some artillery here and in going into the next mission, right? It does seem speed is the universal uh, uh, positive attribute. Yeah. We'll let them go at it. That will kind of get us prepared for the next tier. And then let's see. Let's see. We have 11 minutes to do this. No? Is that what that is? Is that what that countdown is? 11 minutes to do stopping power? So that seems like very important. We have somebody in here, right? Mr. Ria? Yes, sir. Where are you at? You're eating? This is not the time to eat. <laughs> I honestly... I need you to work Understood. right now. I need you to, to, to specialize ASAP. Yeah. We need you there because we're running on, on short time right now to get this done. Come on, buddy. And hopefully more speed people. Yeah, okay, there we go. We got more speed people coming in. Yes, sir. Let's get you going. Uh, oh, wait, we already had? Yeah, okay, there you go. Send you over to explosives. Yes, sir. There we go. Perfect. Yes, sir. You are in strength. Yes, sir. You are in comms. Okay. Yes, sir. You are in speed, so we should be able to send you to explosives as well. Yes, sir. So we'll get a couple more engineers working. Yes, what do you got sir. here? You do the same thing. Explosives. Yes, sir. I'll we'll have to take a look if there's like a... I'll have to look through the UI here to see if there's like many uh, different... Um, Many different, uh, what is this? The maintenance building? If there's any many, many different, um, scheduling, like if you can see all the, like, the, the daytimes in, in a full list, so to speak. Buy that. Put it all. Thank you. I wonder if you can have, like, an autofill on that, too. <clears throat> hey, Nick Collins, how you doing? Good to see you. What's going on? I had to go to the store to get groceries, but I'm back. Did you get any watermelon? Surprised didn't get strawberries. <laughs> All right. Oh no, we need fuel. Just gas. We need to restock. Wait, can we change it into a different company? I guess in the future we can. We need more fuel. Oh. I know you guys are upset about the noise. Be fine. It's fine. You guys are fine, honestly. Hey. Be careful, officer. I see one of our soldiers need medical care. Oh Jesus. I know these youngsters today complain a lot, but still, we can't let them keep training in that condition. What would their mothers think? We have to do something. It's about time we get into the introduction of uh, medical. Injuries are fairly common when doing uh, physical exercise. They can happen at any time, but if you push the troops too hard, their chances of injury are going to go up. When a cadet gets injured, they have to be treated immediately. Mm. Our quacks, I mean <clears throat> licensed doxer, doctors, will get them healed up before you know it. But first, you have to build a Physotherapy? Physotherapy? Sy Sy F. Hey. Take care of that soldier right away or they might end up leaving the camp. Right, we will do that. Finally, we have plenty of people to do the stopping power. We'll get to that here in a sec. Uh, soldierless, you are hurt. So our Mr. Charles Moore is hurt. So we're gonna need to get a hospital, right? Or do we need to actually do the tech tree for the hospital? There's a spy specialization. There's the aviator specialization. There's a tank driver specialization. Sick. Uh, there's this therapy right there. Uh, there's a sleep clinic, and there is the motivational therapy as well. Like that. Thank you. Okay. Fissio? Fissio? Is that how you say it? Fissio? I'm going to fist ye Oh. Uh, would that be under... Yes. Infirmary. Okay. Infirmary into... A psychological therapy. But this person needs physiotherapy. Muscular injury. We're going to need to build like a whole medical area. I feel like. Do they get off, give off noise pollution? It doesn't look like they give off noise pollution. What if I made something? Can I get rid of that rock? Not get rid of the rock, unfortunately. Okay. Whoops. Let's put that. Let's go like this. Go like this. Go up the route here. Go. We're gonna need to hire a doctor too. And then let's get some power. 
up there, up and running. There we go. And we'll get someone working that. And I'm assuming we're going to need someone to, uh, to, to run the, uh, have a private house also. Who wants to be a doctor? Any doctor in the house? Party animal? No. Angel cook? Stamina decreases 10% slower during the day. Uh, experienced researcher? Held to the yes. Experienced cook? Held to the also yes. A Rudite, experience as researcher, held to the freaking yes. Okay, okay, okay. This is what we're going to do. We're on pause, right? Yes, okay. Let me quick save. Sorry. Um, We're going to go into our kitchen here because I know there's a medical yes, person in here. I know that. Good cook, not the person I'm looking for. I think it's the second person, the night shift person. You're the medical person, right? Good cook, night out, defensive. Maybe not. Somebody around here, maybe it was a maintenance person. I know there's a doctor already. Maybe it's a researcher. Yes, sir. Are you a doctor? Can I see like a list of my soldiers? Yes. Can I see slow recovery? Oh, there's a schedule. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a doctor in the house already. What are you? You're heroic? What are you? Medical knowledge. You are a maintenance person who is medical knowledge. Yes, sir. Can I change your job? Can you be uh, something else? Can you do something else? Yeah. I don't know if I can change their job. I don't think I can. I thought you had finished streaming as YouTube isn't saying you are for me. I what? I don't know. I, I was hoping I could switch this person from. Because this is the person they forced us to get. Uh, change building. Can't change it to the doctor or to the to the therapy. I hate this. I hate that I have you that. I feel like that's such a waste. I guess that just is what it is. Hmm. Unless. Can I assign you there? I can't. You can't. Ah. I don't think you can actually change their jobs. So that's a little bit upsetting. Okay, well. Uh, right. Let's look into this more. Uh, okay, let's go. We want this person to be a researcher. So this person is going to be a researcher. They should have an accommodating building. There we go. I don't think they need to be in a barrack. Now thinking about it. They're a researcher. Maybe a barrack is a bad house, bad place. You know what? Hang on a sec. Let's make another private house. Let's go here. There we go. And here. And here. Okay. Give them a little power. Yeah, give them a little power. Give them a little power. Stretch it out. Kind of like city skylines. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. I get the generator rolling. There we go. Should be set. Connect that to that. Should all evenly distribute a little bit. Okay. Hey, Molly Joe. How you doing, Molly Joe? It's because I paused it before finishing the build? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's built. Yeah, it's built. Yeah, I can only assign Milika. Milika, which is not our doctor. Can I have a doctor? Doctor, doctor, doctor? Uh, I don't know. Interesting. Let's see. All right. Well, I guess we're not going to be putting our maintenance person that is really good at doctoring into the doctor place. It is what it is. Uh, in the meantime, we'll put you into a private room. 
make you a researcher. You will be our a researcher. There we go. 25% faster. Love it. You are a party animal. You're a good cook. I'm kind of tempted to pick you up. You're another good researcher, and we will put you into another private house. Have you as a researcher as well. Wow, look at you. The kindest person in the world. Even if you step on her foot, she will apologize to you. We'll need a lot of training to stand out in any specialization. She repeated several grades in school. She wasn't good at studying. Okay. This activity will not improve specialization yes, performance. Sir. That's fine. Because you're just a researcher. You don't need to go to accuracy training. You need to go to research. Oh, there's only two. You can only have two researchers. Okay, that's fine. Because I don't think the actual researcher in here is benefiting us. Yes, sir. The other one. So if I need to fire her, I will fire her. Can I take a look at you, yeah? Where's your perks at? You Show me your perks. Yes, sir. You have perks, right? Yeah, you're... Okay, yeah, yes, you don't sir. have perks. Yes, you, sir. Yes, okay, good. Let's yes, get rid of you. Sir. You're fired. Sorry. Don't make us upset. Now we have two researchers that are going to come in, do the job wonderfully and yes, correctly. Sir. You will need to go. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. I need you to go there. Be upset. Throw a tantrum and all that. Come on. Come on. We need you to go there. Perfect. Okay, now she's going back there. Good. Whew. All right. We still need to hire somebody to run the medical for us, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Um, I guess we can hire this person. <clears throat> Nawa Biyombo. We'll hire this person as a doctor. Actually, intelligence. We want someone with high intelligence. Is that the highest intelligence we have? Yeah, the game forced us to hire the, uh, the, the medical person before. I tried not to do it, but yeah, we were forced into hiring the medical person as a maintenance. I didn't want to do that, but the guy yelled at me. He's like, how dare you not listen to me? Angel Cook... We'll do Angel Cook. Stamina decreases uh, during the day slower, and they have the highest intelligence just about behind Janet Murphy, but Janet Murphy's a party animal. So we'll hire you for medical. Right? It already says we have somebody on medical. A doctor. Wait a sec. Hang on a sec. Did I accidentally hire a doctor person? Doctor, doctor? Um, is it... Let's see here. Milka. Okay, Milka. I see. Okay. All right. Um. Well, I mean, yeah. We'll put Milka. Okay. Milka in, and then we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Angel. We'll do two. We'll make sure we'll have two. As far as accommodation goes, uh, I'm going to need... I think... I think... I don't know. I don't know where Milka's yes, at. Sir. You're in a private house. We'll do one more private house. One more private house. This is going to get ridiculous after a while, isn't it? My lord. Okay, let's go. And then we should have our soldier go and get uh, better, yeah? Should. Keyword, should. Angel cook. Not to be confused. She, I mean, she doesn't specialize in cooking or anything like that. There you go. Okay. All right. Should be good. Should be good to go. Okay. What do we have here? No personnel working in the building at the moment. That should change here in a bit. Because we should have two people there now. All right, yep, two people. Uh, one needs to do night and one needs to do day. Yes, sir. So this one needs to do night shift. Yeah, you're set to night shift. You should be working night shift. All right. That's night shift. Apparently. Wait a sec. That's... No, this is night shift. That's night shift. Okay. Yes, sir. And then the next person should be running daytime. Yes, sir. During the day. You should be day. Yeah, you should be going there right now. Okay, good. Okay, so we have a night shift doctor and a day shift doctor now. Wonderful, wonderful. And this person, who's limping about, should be heading off over here. 
the meantime, we need to do stopping power. So Julie speaks, uh, speaking, transmitting from the lion's den, and still looking great. How do you know she's looking great if she's transmitting from the lion's den? I have received a distress call from a nearby town. Uh, dragons as troops have launched an offensive to take retake positions in this territory. The citizens have set up barricades to stop their advance, but they need our help urgently. We have to send reinforcements. We don't know if they will be able to resist much longer. So we want to send the best of the best. Sure thing. Best of the best. All right. All right. I had to send you off with a 78. Copy that, boss. I could have chosen a 69, but I'm not that kind of funny. Maybe I am. Uh, this is out of the park, $7,500, or sorry, yeah, $7,500, 376 battle rank compared to 200. We're going to kick their asses. Should be fine. You two prefer sophisticated verbiage, dachshund or dash hound, depending on where you live, or just say weenie. How is it? How's it so far, Ronald? It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, I I enjoy this game a lot. We have played it a few times on the channel, but now that it's this is like the full release or full early access release, the full full build, it's pretty fun. It is. I enjoy it. Okay, so that's main mission is gonna be in progress. We'll let that go. This guy should be going there. Uh, we are probably gonna need to start worrying about medical medicine uh, logistics, right? Health? No. Uh, logistics. Logistics. I think I need to do another entertainment. Logistics. Medicine. Put that right. And then we'll buy some medicine from one sanitary camp. Holy hell, that's a lot of freaking money. There we go. Go. Now let's take a look at our tech tree while we're at it, too. Uh, sleep clinic and a motivational therapy. I'm not going to worry about that right now because I, I don't think any soldier is worrying about those right now. They're just worrying about physical stuff like foot. Like you, my good man. Why don't you go get treatment? How about that? Okay. Yeah. I, I need to freaking tell you, Charles Moore, to get your freaking foot looked at. Figure it out, dude. Figure it out. Let's go. Jesus Christ. What's wrong with you? This game goes out of its way to make sure we know Julie is still looking like she could drop it like it's hot. I know. The game is simply saying, hey, Julie's looking good. She's sounding good. I just heard her over the I heard her over the radio comms and she still looks perfect. How the hell do you know she looks good? You just heard her over a discord call, dude. She didn't even, like, turn on the video chat. She didn't have her makeup on. She just got out of the shower. And the lion's dead. <laughs> How do you know she's doing well and looking good and smelling good and feeling good and tasting good and smelling text? You know, all the goods. Watching you on a 75 inch? Oh my lord, I feel bad for you because... I don't know how big my forehead is on that 75 inch. You might be having like an 8 inch forehead on your TV. I apologize. <laughs> Alright, this is almost done. Let's fast forward this a bit. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look at some recruits while we're here. Anybody new? Party animal. Defensive knowledge. Eh. There's going to be a time I think we're going to have to worry about defensive measures. What's wrong with Prison Tycoon? Don't you like the trash can? <laughs> what? Uh, are you talking about Prison Tycoon under new management? Are you talking about that game? Dude, that game drove me nuts when that game first came out. My goodness gracious. That drove me nuts. That was a fine victory! <laughs> Thank you, sir! Do we get to see uh, Julie again? Hey, we ranked up. We're actually ranked two now. Win five more missions to level up. Sick. What does that mean? Do we get something in anything new? No personnel's at the, the building. It, it, honestly, it should be fine. I I, th I know why. It's because they have a long walk. I should probably stop making them go all the way in there all the time. 
But once the doctor gets there, which is right there, there's a the doctor. They'll be fine in there. Actually, you know what? We haven't even seen treatment being done in this game yet. So what is he doing? Walking on a walking on a on a treadmill there? And she patting him on the back saying, Good job. Hmm. Hey Damien, how you doing, Damien? Mm -hmm. I think supplies are well. What do we need to do now? So cab damage control. We're gonna need operator, infantry, and we're gonna need aviators, it looks like now, right? So let's see here. Aviators, cab damage control. Aha! I knew we had some promising communication cadets. They've intercepted a radio transmission from Janty's senior command. Apparently, several of them will be overseeing the construction of a large satellite dish on Mount Kogolo. We don't need what they plan to use it for, but it can't be good. Wait, what? We don't know. Oh, sorry. We don't know what they plan to use it for, but it can't be good. If we act quickly, we can catch them by surprise and foil Janty's plans for Greylands. So aviators are going to be now the next thing we're going to focus on, which is good because we've been putting our strength people on speed. All right, let's go money wise. Let's send it. Let's go. We're going to need some aviator 450. We should be able to unlock that right now. Uh, Yeah, aviator indeed. Send it. Good. Nice. Hey, Ronald. Hey, thank you very much, Ronald, for becoming a member of the channel. How blessed of you. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. That was very kind. Hey, did you see your name? Uh, you know, did you see your name on the uh, on the 75 inch? Huh? 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 Probably. <laughs> Appreciate that, Ronald. Thank you very much. Big shout out to you. So aviator specialists now going to be coming in training soon before you know it. We'll place them bad boy right there. Hey, very good. And we should actually have somebody. Yes, sir. Maybe worthwhile here. Like speed is up. Okay, maybe not the strength there. Uh, let's take a look at our soldier list. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You, yes, sir. private. What is that heart and why do you have it? You have slow recovery. Right. Yes, you. sir. Okay, you. Yes, sir. 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 I've never been sir called sir so much in my life. Yes, if you sir. ever want, like, yes, sir. to play a game where they, uh, yes, sir, they give you a little yes, bit sir. of a giddy up, this is it. Yes, sir. I thought, okay, wait a yes, sec. Yes, sir. We're gonna need to talk to some of these people. Uh, let me see. Give me my strength, people. Give me my strength, people. Let's see where we're at. So strength 100, speed not there. You're private. You're ready to go. Uh, 81. Okay, 34. Set. Okay, there we go. Perfect. This is exactly yes, who sir. we need. You set the goal to an aviator. You now need to become an aviator. So, oh, can we specialize in aviator already? Specialize in aviator. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Uh, this guy. Yes, sir. Can we set your goal to aviator as well? You just need to meet meet it in this in the strength department, my good man. So make sure you go to strength to department next. Speed and strength. Speed and strength. Speed and strength. Speed and strength. Speed. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, very good, very good, very good. So we're going to have two people go to Aviator before you know it, which is good because we need two people on Aviator. So what do they do inside the Aviator? Oh, my God. <laughs> they go on the scrambled eggs from Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Amanda. How you doing, Amanda? Had a blast. Had my had my last ke uh, chemotherapy treatment today. Wow! Look at that. Hey. Very cool. Look at that. Love that. You know what? You walked out of that building. It was nothing but a G thing, baby. You already know. You were like this. You're you're like, huh? Yeah. What I do? They got nothing on me. There you go. Very very cool. That's awesome. What the heck is going on here? 
No supplies? That's terrible. Let's give them food. Top bun. Whoop. There we go. Don't complain about noise. Actually, you have the, all the right to complain about noise, don't you? Kind of. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Okay. Let's see here. So, with these people going yes. with this, we could set their goals to another aviator. And we could put them going on speed tests Understood. now. Yes. Same with you. We could have a bunch of avi aviators in, 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 in action here. Or I could turn them on to... Uh, some spy espionage espionage thing thing doohickey but in order to do that I'm gonna need to get the spy boss. building in I do not have enough research to get the spy building in so that's that uh yeah I'm I'm a little bit of a ways it's so hard to see so training uh, it would be this one 450 okay 450 we're gonna need 450 for that I'm gonna try to go through all these people as much as I can who's urgent seven people are urgent some people are hungry rightfully so yes, uh, you sir. i guess we can now jump you into specialization should be enough room in there right yeah there's enough room in there we'll jump yes, into sir. specialization and then yes, you sir. we will also put you into comms specialization there should be room in there right there is room in there yes sir Get your specialization up and running yes sir you are doing comms as well yes sir let's get you going yes sir you are doing accuracy so there definitely should be or infantry so there definitely should be yes, something sir. there for you yes you sir. are doing that explosive do you have enough room in explosives we do yes sir and then you my good man yes sir you're just hungry which you're standing at the canteen at, as we speak so you're fine all right so everybody's needs should be a-okay to be you know everything should be fine I don't know if there is a, uh... Oh, there is an autofill? There is an auto-purchase? But it's, uh, level 2 stars. Okay. Level 2 star you need to get to be able to have auto-purchase. Oh! Look at that! I feel so much better. And I think Bella just knocked into the... Damn it, dog. Give me a sec as I go into a whirlwind here. Hi, right, Lord. Bella, I'm going to tell you this now. You're out of your damn mind. Hang on a sec. Reload it. I can dip my Amanda in my sauce for Dindin. Wait, what? Only I can dip. Yeah, that's exactly what I read. <laughs> Yeah, good detail on this game for sure. That's exactly what it is. The um, the detail with the animations uh, are really nice. It's really cool. It's really fun. I like it a lot. Well, when it comes to animations, at least. And the art style. Yeah. The spinning, yeah. The spinning was just the, the, the dog. Look, the dog has just been on a roll today. Barked two times during both streams. And then decides uh, to, uh, to just knock into the... Just, I don't know piss me off and knock into the to the into the cords <laughs> and then sometimes a little little jiggly jiggly get a little bit loose and then keyboards go crazy and whatnot yeah wires go insane okay let's see here you anything going good here low recovery jinx wait a sec jinx increases the chance of getting hurt while on okay no nobody really specialized in there i'm not really like intrigued to uh to pick anybody up but look at that ah, damn it nobody's in that yet i want somebody in that now i want someone in it now did we get another recruit what's the next recruit milaka milaka i cook and clean and do uh, wifely duties yeah yeah 78 i feel like our research is not going very going very fast 
Oh, because they're both set yes, on daytime. Sir. Can we put someone on nighttime? Done, boss. Let's just put someone on nighttime so we have that going on at all times. I'm tempted to buy an, 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 another entertainment here. Entertainment. What do we have for entertainment? We have increases morale, museum, a bowling alley, really, a cinema, really, uh, awesome, a park. Huh. Do we put like a museum down? Put a museum down, yeah. I mean, who wants to go to a museum, you know, when uh, you have like a freaking lounge next door? Who knows? Somebody's doing something over there. Got another recruit in. Glutton, hate it. Move on, move along. Move along, please. <laughs> Remember the old original Xbox wire controller had the easy breakaway cable so it would it wouldn't pull the console to the floor if a dog yeah it, yeah i remember that yeah <sighs> before everything like went wireless too okay what do we got urgent uh you must be assigned a valid okay so we have a worker over there let's go ahead and try to start making some houses out over here Maybe. Away from the noise, of course. We gotta make sure it's away from the noise. There we go. We'll do something like that. It's still kind of far, but not too far. I'm gonna have to try to figure out a way to centralize everything. And then this person yes, should be able to go there to the private house. Sure thing. And then we'll just give it some power real quick. That should be good to go. Perfect. Good. Start reaching out. We're reaching out that way with the uh, private houses and things like that. We're still waiting on one more person to send them off to aviation school, so to speak. So we're still waiting on that. They're getting their training up. Who's this guy? Oh, a brainiac. A hawkeye. Hmm. Intelligent improves 25% faster and accuracy improves 25% faster. That's perfect for a spy. Go no, not that. Let's go speed. Speed training. You're hired right out of the bus, dude. Yeah. Right out of the bus, you're hired. Your goal? Yes, your goal is gonna be espionage type ish. But for right now, you're doing this. You're gonna be espionage before you know it, my good man. <clears throat> Yeah, I've been I, I haven't I've stopped watching Shameless recently. I was watching it for a while. I think I was up to like season seven and then um Oh fuck. And then um like uh The Last of Us came out. <laughs> and then now tomorrow the Mandalorian comes out and I'm like, oh Ugh Oh and beside uh, baseball started too, so it's like ugh I haven't had like a chance to um to go back to anything. Or to go back to that show. I might hire one more maintenance person too. Let's go. Here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's see, is there any sound going on over here? And yeah, this is a very heavily populated sound pollution area. Uh, we'll just place it over here for now. That will add a little bit of road too. And then let's hire somebody for maintenance. Glutton, no, glutton, no, party animal, no. Night owl. Actually, yeah. Let's put you on maintenance, night owl. Alright. 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 She sounds so happy. She's like, alright, no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, let's see here. Uh, can you focus on aviation? A good man. So you have your strength up. And then let's just put you... Yeah, you're on speed training, so that's good. Uh, yes, ready sir. to specialize? Here we go. Oh, you ready to be doing... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Aviator. Yes, sir. Get it going. That's what I'm talking about. Good stuff. Yes, sir. Robert Clark is also ready to do some aviation as well. Yes, sir. There we go. Who is this? Activity yes, will not improve. What are you going on? Why are you on that? You should be on maintenance. Oh, we need another new maintenance building. You're good. That's a good point. Uh, let's put the other maintenance building maybe. So one's right there. One's over here. Let's put one like over here. Dun, 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 dun. Maintenance, maintenance, logistics. The maintenance building right here. There you yes, go. Sir. You should be good to go. Okay. You're welcome. Go ahead. Continue. All right. So I think we're ready to do this mission now. So yeah, great lands, all the above. Let's put the best of the okay. best up on there. Infantry 107, Understood. Aviator 177. Good God Almighty. Consider it done, boss. You're welcome. And look at that. Sure thing. Uh, forces your battle rank against them. We still have the edge. They have 420, 6400. Send it. Mission in progress. Cool. How much money do I have? We have really $49,000. That doesn't sound good. No. Mandalorian is tomorrow. The Mandalorian, the Mandaloria is tomorrow. Yeah, season three, March first, Wednesday. I have snow. Yes, we are getting snow here today. It's snowing currently where I'm at. That's why we had a little bit of stream troubles with internet connection and and so on and so forth today, but. Hey, Eric Benjamin. What's going on, Eric? How you doing? Two available researchers, which is perfect because I think... I, oh, wait, no. I want to get the... Um, I want to get the spy specialization in, I think, next. So we'll let this kind of, like, mission play out. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and look through some people here. I kind of want to just reject these people. Some people, not all of them. I don't like the glutton. I don't like the party animal bad traits. I don't want that stuff. That's something I don't want to have to worry about. I'm going to have to build another generator here in a sec. Might as well just build one now. Do it now. Even though they give off a little bit of noise pollution. Maybe they're here. Here we go. Looks like a fire hazard ready to happen. <laughs> oh, something's gonna happen here. Ugh. Yes, sir. What are you doing that's out of character here? You're an aviator, yeah? No, you're a comms operator? What is your goal? You're a comms operator. Okay, very well. Can I get you to do. Um... Actually, can I just get you to sit still for a second? Because I want to get this um, espionage stuff in. We've completed the mission. I'm doing well as well. Yeah. This game looks very cool. Yeah, it's very intriguing. If you like tycoon management type games. So it has a little bit of, it's not like, there. you know, there's a little bit of funkiness, like funky as in like silliness to it. Not like realism to it. But I mean, there is, I don't know. It, it's just a fun little tycoon management game for sure. Did we run out of food? I would probably, going into this, I wouldn't expect it to be, like, 100%, um, like, realistic. But it's, it's good fun. Can't find a working cantina. We should have our guy there. Our daytime chef. Where is he? Yes, sir. Yeah, he's working it. There we go. Okay. We'll let that go. Let's take a look at our mission good now. Good job, soldiers. Get wow. ready for the next assignment. We actually lost somebody. We actually lost an infantry unit. That's our first person we've lost uh, yet. So we're going to have to replace that person. Uh, somebody did die. So, frick. I have bad news, soldier. I'm sorry to tell you this, but we took some losses. Not everyone has returned from the front. They've probably been captured and are being held in one of a dragon's dungeons. Damn you, dragon. You want to be dictator, buffoon stooge. Buffoon stooge? 
cool. Yo! We have to step up our efforts. We leave nobody behind. Oh. We'll get our people back and we will make that parasite dragon pay for everything he has done. You'll see. Spies? Um. Villager says, this, what? Look at this guy. Is he drunk? Are you all right, sir? Hey, you all right? I have to cut, I have to cut flowers. I have to forgive my friend. It's terrible. Oh. Jantine has turned him into this apathetic zombie. He's forcing us to cut every flower in the country, oh. every single one. Do you have any idea how many flowers are scattered around the Western uh, forests? It's an impossible task. People are going crazy. We are completely overwhelmed. All because apparently her ladyship has a pollen allergy and doesn't like sneezing. She hates us. She hates this place and wants to prove her merit so that dragon will send her somewhere else. Uh. Anyone who disagrees with her is sent to a, a re-education center where she turns them into zombies. Just like my friend Phil. Poor Phil. Hmm. At least he's found a job. He's the best gardener in the neighborhood. Right, Phil? Uh, uh cut. Uh. Oh. You had to stop, Jantine. If you don't, uh, soon we'll be, uh, we'll all be complacent zombies. <sighs> That's horrible. Jantine Roosevelt. <sighs> we have to stop her before everyone here loses the ability to think freely. Trying to control people's minds by putting them in camps is evil and cruel. She knows it's her only way to get anyone on her hey. side. Let's keep moving to Greatland and stop this madness. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we need to go here in order to finish this. Now, luckily for us, we have a well-organized uh, front of, of, of... We have a lot of people that we can send out already. So that's good. Hey, Robert. Thank you, Robert, for the uh, for the re-up there. Appreciate that, Robert. Thank you for the five months, Robert. AKJM, thank you for the four months. Lady ok uh, Okami, thank you for the three months. Kate, thank you for the four months. Kelly, thank you for the five months. Jeffrey Nichols, thank you for the 20 months of support. Appreciate that, Jeffrey. Shelby, thank you for the eight months. Cassie, thank you for the eight months. Temporal Hawk, thank you for the eight months as well. Serendipity, thank you for the eight months. Fane, thank you for the nine months. Many talented Mr. Jefferson. Thank you for nine months in, in the business tier. Thank you very much, Jefferson. Airsoft Noise, thank you for 19 months of support. And Rob Humphrey, thank you for 14 months of support as well. Thank you for the re-ups, everyone. Appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. So we're almost there. We are at the gate to the city of Vilka. If we manage to take it back, the territory of lush grasslands will be ours again. Vilka is home to one of the largest banks in the southern lands. Right now, it's under Dragon's control. He's using it to finance his army. Can't allow him to continue. Let's cut off their communication and isolate them. Then send in some infantry to recapture the building. An overwhelming counter-offensive will ensure our victory. So... Consider it done, boss. That's Copy right. That, boss. Look at that guy. Roger that. So our forces will definitely outweigh their forces on this mission. So send it. Right? And then another mission is Lush Grassland. This is where my grandma, Nana Hawkins, <laughs> lived. Uh, what I wouldn't give to taste her rice pudding again. We have discovered that Gentine is taking control of the region's grain fields to feed her troops on the front lines. It's starting to affect the local harvest, which could use, uh, which could cause a food crisis if Grandma could see this. We could deal a major blow to their supply lines by driving them out. We will. All right. All right. That was Matthew McConaughey. All right. That was not Matthew McConaughey. Okay. Our forces definitely will outweigh their forces in this one too. Mission cannot be used. All your heliports are in use. Ah. Okay. Right. So we need to get another heliport in action. That's easy to do. Let's do that. Uh, heliport. Perfect. Perfect. Let's do another mission. Send it out. There we go. Uh, yep. Perfect. Cool. Two birds, one stone. Love to see it. Uh, what are yes, you sir? doing out of training? Your speed is all the way up. Your intelligence is all the way up, too. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to need to get the spy here in. I I'm assuming that's the next thing we should be getting in. Other than the tank driver specialization. Let's get spy, I guess. 
There we go. And we'll start training people on spy. Boom. Uh, where would that be? A spy. Perfect. Now for you, yes, sir. let's set your goal to some espionage type-ish stuff. You're going to need more intelligence, though. So let's put you on intelligence. Understood. We're, needed, we're going to need to hire more, uh, more soldiers before you know it, also. Yes, sir. You need to be set to that, apparently. So you're ready to go as an aviator. Yes, sir. So you will take that promotion. Appreciate that. Cool. There's our spy building. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Love it. All right. We'll let the mission go out. In the meantime, let's go maybe recruit some more people. Maybe build some more barracks. Things like that. <laughs> How do you make money on this game? Uh, you make money by doing the missions. Yeah. By doing the missions. Let's go here. The barracks. Perfect. And then let's hire some more people. Uh, let's see here. Uh, experience as a researcher increases 25% faster. We could get another research center in. Handy. Experience as a maintenance worker increases faster. Brainiac Intelligent improves 25% faster as well. That guy is actually kind of sick. Um... Uh, I'm going to use you as intelligence. I'm going to use you as intelligence. We'll use you as a soldier. There we go. Okay. A sprinter. We'll put you on speed for right now, and then I'll figure you out later. <laughs> you are a strength and speed. So we already know where your uh, <laughs> where are you lie, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Speed and intelligence here. Maybe we roll with another intelligent person. Uh, res oh, that's our researcher, actually. Hang on. Never mind. Now let's put you on accuracy. Hire you. <laughs> yes! We'll set yes, set some goals sir. for these people. So for you... My good man, the Brainiac Mr. Intelligent Guy. Let's set you to operators for now. And then let's get this person. Yes, you also will be doing a... Speed. So we're going to put you on explosives for right now. And then next we're going to go you on infantry. Yes, sir. And then you on... What the hell were you on? Strength? You want strength. There we go. Hey, Kalia! Look at that. Kalia with the five gifted membership. Whoa, hang on. I'm out of freaking zoom here. With the five gifted memberships. Very, uh, again, another one. That's very kind of you. Big shout out to you, Kalia. That's uh, Carrie, Victoria, Sippy, Daylove, and Lumby Legends Gaming picking up those five gifted memberships from Kalia. And on behalf of the five people, we say thank you very much. That was very kind. Thank you! Appreciate that. Big ups to you. Big ups to you. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you very much. Very kind of you, indeed. Hope you're doing well. And uh, as we go into March, uh, happy almost March 1st. <laughs> uh, what's going on over here? So no personnel working in the building at the moment. So we could use another maintenance. One more maintenance person. Gonna be a bad idea. Uh, researcher or this person. Um, we'll make them a researcher. And then we'll just need to buy another house for them. We'll buy a house first and then make them a maintenance person. Not a researcher, sorry, a maintenance person. Recovers stamina and provides one bed for instructors. I don't think we've gotten to that part with like instructors and instructors and things. Go. Okay, let's go ahead and add this. Hello, hello, hello. You. You are going to be our other maintenance person. We're going to hire you. Or just that. Thank you. 
And I think I really am going to uh, build another research place here. Yeah, I think I am. I don't know. Or just, like, upgrade our research lab. I really don't want to lose that person, but... Yes, sir. I don't think I'm really going to have a choice now, am I? So you are up as a comms operator. I'm going to leave you as is, because I might have to use a comms operator in future... In the future, so you're going to stay put. We're going to let these missions kind of go through real quick. You're one of my favorite people to watch. I've been working on a school paper and lurking. So you've been lurking, smirking, and you could probably even say you've been working as well. Appreciate that, Kalia. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Very kind to you. Very kind to you. What the heck is happening in here, dude? Oh. Appreciate it. Do appreciate it. Oh, this is aviator school, yeah? Look at that. I've always wanted to do something like this before. Okay, not like that, though. But something close to that. Hey. Holy hell. What is this, like... Anti-G... Like, G-Force training? My lord. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, two missions Just have been done. Another victory. <laughs> Just another that victory for fun. a fistful of dollars. Love it. $6,000 in our pocket. Good job, soldier. Seven thousand dollars in our pocket. Nobody died or nobody got hurt, so that's really good to see. Uh, looks like we have an Operation Target Garden. Interesting. We have Among High Society, so we're gonna need our spy people then, and we're gonna need a Sausage and Trench, which means uh, tank operator needs to come in too. Then this person uh, is hurt, so okay. put you on treatment right now. Then we need to think about bringing in the tank operator. So we got to go to the tech tree and we need 450 we are at 320 right now 320 oh cool. uh, in this case let's get some spies going if we can so let's take a look here soon the aviator building's crazy i know right <laughs> so it's, it's kind of insane intelligence high intelligence we need high intelligence and high speed this one right here yes so sir. you will be specialized in Spies. Yes, sir. Thank you. So you will do that. Uh, so there we go. We have a spy officially now. Is that the only spy we have? Uh, spy capable, I should say. Uh, speed. Oh, speed and strength. Nice. <clears throat> speed okay so that that person's doing that so we just need another person to get into intelligence let's talk with cynthia yes, cynthia johnson i would like for you to set a goal of spy so we're gonna throw you into now the intelligence training Roger that. there you go we'll get that up and running so now we have one spy we're gonna try to get the second spy in the meantime we will also like to build out or get the research for this tank stuff. Yeah, tank stuff. Come on now. Perfect. Are we good on supplies across the board here? I think so. Medical good. How's food? Food's fine. Fuel. We are out of fuel. Buy some fuel. Restock that. Perfect. We can hire Sadie and make her a smooth tank. Operator. <laughs> uh, Sandra Bullock? No. <laughs> um, slow recovery. There's our researcher still. Night Owl. Um, what the frick? <laughs> Beatrice? What are you talking about, Beatrice? You're a Night Owl? Stamina decreases slower during the night, but you also have stamina that uh, decreases slower during the day? Okay. You're just awesome, I guess. Let's hire let's hire Sandra Bullock here. Um, let's put you on intelligent comms. There we go. And then uh I I mean how do you benefit this? Anyway, honestly, any way you can benefit this. Let's put you on accuracy, because we're gonna need more tank people soon. Oh, they got really excited. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um uh, Give me a spy target, and then you give yes, me sir. a, for now, give me a accuracy target.
target. And then we'll move you to tank later on. Uh, two available researchers. What is that? Uh, nope. Don't want those. Two specialists ready to go. Uh, speed. Okay. You're good with the speed, I guess. So you could do the explosive if you want. Uh, might as well, I guess. Yes, sir. Get you out of there so you're not clogging that up. Who's the next yes, one? Sir. Sophia. High strength. We'll put you on artillery specialist for now. Yeah. Yes, sir. And then... Yes, sir. Kimberly. We'll put Kimberly on uh, infantry specialist right now. Yes, sir. Perfect. Very happy with myself. I guess we could send this person off too. So, uh, uh, worker, engineer, maintenance person, right? Pleased to meet you, officer. I am Dakota Smith, mayor of Crystal Wood. I'm writing to you because our situation is desperate. Gentine Roosevelt has stripped our town barren of flowers, which has caused significant damage to our environment because of the lack of biodiversity. We need a maintenance specialist to upgrade our gardens and parks and bring our town back to its flowerly glory. Could you please send one of your marvelous people? We would be internally grateful. Yeah, send over our freaking uh, <laughs> medical Understood. person. So there we go. We'll send them off and let them do their thing. I think this is going to unlock us a building maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, wow. That's very quick. Holy crap. Super fast. Well, that's good. Oh, Sade, not Sadie. Sade. <laughs> Sade and make her just make her a smooth tank operator. It's a bad joke, bad dad joke from the artist in the 80s called Sade. Oh, I don't know Sade. I feel like I should though. Don't let this victory go to your head. There's still work to be done. Okay, 6,500. Good money there. Okay, now we can actually get our tank uh, open up here. Tank driver specialization. Yes. Perfect. Now we can start making some moves. Do the tank specialists. There we go. Oh, I can't wait to see what this thing does. Place it right there. And we'll add a road to it. Okay. Okay, so who's ready ah, to go? Who's ready to get this? Um, I think we do have some people ready to do the tanks. What do we need? The uh, strength and accuracy. So strength and accuracy. So let's see here. Strength, high, accuracy, not as an aviator. Uh, actually, let's go accuracy. So accuracy. Okay. Um, nobody's doing accuracy and strength. So you, my good man, Arthur Baker. Arthur Baker, let's go with you to set a goal for tank driver now. So then your main building will now be strength. So improve, improve your right. strength. You as well, yes, Kimberly. Sir. Kimberly, you will be sent over and set for a goal for tank specialists as well. And we will send you straight to strength Consider training done, as well. And then probably actually accuracy training also. That's what we'll do. Yeah, we have two tanks going. Now I'm really interested to know how the tank little building operates too. Look, what? Oh, no way. Do they drive a little tiny RC uh, tank? Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yes. Okay, somebody's ready to specialize in intelligence, so we can set their goal to espionage type stuff if we want to. Yeah. Go at it. There you go. We'll switch you over to speed. Roger training. that. Roger that. Roger that. Uh, let's go take a look at some recruits, possibly. I know we don't have that, but, uh, oh, I guess we gave them that. I guess we don't get that worker back. Okay, so we're going to have to hire another worker. Hello, recruits. Brainiac Intelligent improves 25% faster. Sleephead recovers 25. I mean, that's whatever. It's decent, I guess. We'll get you on as an intelligence worker. Infantry person. Slow recovery. Hate that. Uh, you are slow recovery also. Hate that. So two slow recoveries and a sickly person. What do you got going on here? You could be our maintenance worker. No, you're not. You don't have good strength. Uh, let's put you on infantry as da, 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 as speed. Speed. I am speed. 
All right. Yes, sir. Then we will set your goal specifically for, I guess, a spy for now. And then uh, I thought we hired another person. Oh yeah, yes, right here. Sir. And then your goal will be set specifically for an aviator, maybe. We'll do that. Kind of diversify it a bit. As far as maintenance, I don't know. Um, maybe the sick person will make you maintenance. There you go. Get hired. <laughs> Uh, what's your problem here? Okay, so yeah, too many people in the artillery. Rightfully so. Uh, rightfully so. So can we uh, switch you up to now then to worry about... You're going strength. Let's put you to strength to this. And we're going to tell you to go and uh, get your strength training up a bit. Or Okay. There you go. Cool. I like this game. This game's pretty cool. Um, if there's nothing yes, in sir. stock, uh, yeah, you're right about that. Don't worry. We're getting the ammo over there. Ammo's getting over there slowly but surely, but it is. Hey, Colin Simulator. How you doing, Colin? Hey, Sam, Rob. How you doing? Just tuning in not too long home from work. Hope you're well. Hope you're well, too, Sam. Have I seen the new airport simulator? I have. I have, I have, I have. It looks pretty cool. I want to, uh, eventually... Uh, play it when it does come out. I think that would be good fun. Okay. <clears throat> I think we're good. I think we can reject this guy. Reject this guy. Uh, keep this guy. Maybe even hire him for intelligence, too. Hire you for intelligence. Brainiac, Mr. Ryan. Woo! He's too excited to join the army. All right, uh, you, what yes, are you sir. doing? You are doing strength, uh, which should be fine. This does work with your resume. Okay, yeah, you're just full past strength now. Let's put you then on Copy accuracy. That, How are we doing over here with the spies? Does anybody actually work in the spy? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Sit in a trench coat on a bench with a newspaper in your hand? Yeah, that's exactly how that goes. Exactly. Yes, Charles sir. is ready to specialize. He is in the speed and the strength. So that means he's going to do aviator. Yes, I'll sir. put that in. A little yes, stamina sir. for Lena. Lena? What's going on, Lena? Go get some rest researcher, Lena. Go get some food. Uh, somebody else also... No supplies for weapons. Okay, let's get that. Get our ammo cache back in. Go. Cool. Yes. Beatrice is ready. Uh, ready to specialize. You are infantry, so I guess we'll put you in infantry. We'll keep you at infantry for yes, now. Sir. <clears throat> I wonder how much it costs to actually upgrade the um, the other buildings. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. How much does it cost to upgrade a research? Spy surveillance, security hub, comms operator, explosive, oh, no. Uh, fuel warehouse, no. Energy, essential. Maybe you can't upgrade the, uh... oh, research lab right there. 1,200, oh my goodness gracious. 1,200? What are you doing in there? Are you doing a lie detector test as a spy? That's a wonderful. In case you get captured behind enemy lines. It's a good movie, by the way. If you want to play this game, this game's pretty cool, Colin. It is. It is pretty cool. I hope they hurry up with definitely not fried chicken. That game cracks me up. I hope so, too. I hope they uh, do some things quick enough, fast enough, uh, stable enough. Stable enough. I think that's the most important thing. Okay, yeah, going on there. Listening in on enemy, uh, enemy lines, yeah? Enemy comms. Phew. Is anybody in the tank yet? No, nobody's doing tank yet. If we can get one more spy in, we should be good. Uh, let's see here. Let's see where we stand. Uh, speed first. Let's look at speed. Yes, sir. That person's in there, obviously. 
Yes, sir. That person's an aviator. Yes, this sir. person needs to set a goal to become a spy. And we put this person off over to intelligence now. Intelligence oh, training. Oh, wait. What is she? Is she dumb? A jinx? Oh, no. She's not dumb. <laughs> she's not dumb. Mm -hmm. They have, like, bad attributes. Yes, sir. Negative attributes. What is the neg negative attributes from? Maybe from tiredness and hunger? Yeah. Possibly. You know, I'll have to grind out that upgrade for sure. That research, baby. Okay, uh, let's see. Aviator, aviator, explosive. I want to keep some explosives, right? This guy set him up for spy as well, maybe? And we will send you right on over to the All intelligence right. training. All right. On your freaking way. Get it going. Do I have anybody working? I think I have people working towards a uh, tank driver. I do. Just taking a while for them too. Fast forward time. Go take a look at the recruits. How are we doing on the recruits here? Anybody worthwhile? Jinx. Heroic. But glutton. Leadership increases the mission's probability of 5%, but also glutton. Sudoku? No, that's not Sudoku. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> let's set you up for accuracy. Yeah. And then your game plan, my good man. Yes, sir. Your game plan will be a tank specialist. Are we good on barracks? 7772 seven, seven, out of 7? Okay. I've been watched your er, first hotel magnet playlist the other day and really want it, but it puts me off how long it's been in early access. I agree. No, I, I, I solely agree with you. I do. Um, that game, the fact yes, that sir. it's like if you click on the click on the game right now, if you go on Steam and, and, and look at it, um, you can see for yourself that uh, that they don't even have the right information. They say at us, you know, They'll be out of uh, early access in 2022, but their early access has been delayed multiple years. I, there needs to be a hotel game like it out there. <clears throat> More hotel games like it, for sure, because I would really enjoy it. But yeah, that game is uh, it, its definitely mixed, for sure. And there's a reason why it's mixed feelings. Early access for too, too long with broken promises and broken dreams. Um, yeah, I'll hold off for now. Let's not overdo it. I have a feeling I need to, like, make another kitchen or something, uh, potentially. Should be getting close to uh, yes, Hassan. Sir. What is your research? Okay, you're doing the blue blue. Let's put you on a specialization of just an engineer yes, for now. And then what are two things that we got? The health thing. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need that. I think my baby girl has a crush on you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Watch out now. The forehead, isn't it? <laughs> Alfredo sauce? You gotta go. No Alfredo sauce for you. For us. For any of us. Jinx? I'm not about it. Get the Jinx out of here. Not to be confused with Pokemon. Hey, what are you? Leadership. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. Let's get you set up and going. Uh, let's put you in strength. Hire you for the day. Not for a mechanic or a strength. There we go. <laughs> Woo. I'm surprised that the two point creators haven't done something with hotels or the creators of Planet Zoo in, in that games. Yeah, and you know, uh, that would be a really good idea. Um, and maybe that could be in the cards in the future for like Two Point Studios. Um, they've done a hospital. They've done college, you know, universities now. Um, the next thing... <laughs> the next thing they could do is, um, is hotels. I agree. 
I agree. That'd be cool to see. Um, or even, like you said, like Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster, Planet... Well, maybe if it was a Planet Hotel, it would have to be super, like, uh, super in-depth. But yeah, you know, I agree. So you're a spy. Let's see if we can get this other spy done. Yes, sir. Like, you need to get your intelligence up, baby. We need you to become a spy. We need you to specialize. For some reason, you're running with, uh, with a, a negative, uh, a negative hit here. There we go. Finally, specialize. My lord, spy. Yes, sir. Get up in there. Thank you. So now we can do among high society, potentially. The harvest. <coughs> My goodness gracious. The harvest dance, one of Little One's great festivals, is coming up. I never missed a single one in my youth. That record is even more spectacular than my military career. But that's another story. Jantine has turned it into an, an elitist event where high-ranking members of her army and wealthy barons come together in search of favors. If we can infiltrate the festival, we will definitely be able to come or get some juicy information that will help us weaken Dragon's forces among the high society. Understood. Understood. Sure thing. Sure thing. 220. Okay. Lord. Copy that, boss. All right, so our forces rank pretty heavily against them, so that's decent. And now the next thing we need to do is get these freaking tank guys going. Go. This going. That. Perfect. Perfect. Four more research is yes, available. Sir. That's nice. So speed and intelligence, that helps us with spies. So we will put you in the yes, spy sir. category. Uh, uh, Dragon has a muscle injury here. Let's put you into Copy the that, boss. treatment center. Yes, sir. You are doing a, an assignment not set for your goal. Okay, you just need to go to training. All right. Strength training, strength training. A couple more research is available. What do we got? We have Spy Surveillance Tower. You never know when you'll be attacked by enemy spies. Guard posts help you catch them and catch them red-handed. Security Hub, Operation Center that controls all security systems within its sphere of influence. If Hawkins didn't hog the Wi-Fi, the range would be better. <laughs> Buddy. I'm going to hold off on those researches in case I have, like, to def I, I believe you do get attacked in this game, so... Who's that for you? Arthur yes, is ready sir. to specialize. Uh, ooh, is that our first tank guy? Hell yeah! Paint, uh, paint. Tank driver yes, specialist finally coming through. That is sick. I liked more Evil Genius more. I never played Evil Genius. A lot of people said I should have played Evil Genius, uh, but I've heard mixed things about Evil Genius, but I've never played Evil Genius myself. <clears throat> Yeah, two point hotels or like casinos, that'd be kind of kind of cool. Two point hospital studios, I'm sure, are the same creators of the theme park world from like the 2000s. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people will take two point hospital, and I mean, there's a lot, a lot of similarities with that in theme hospital, Good right? Job, I don't know if they are the You're same developers. The I don't know if they're the same developers, but they might really take a huge influence from uh, theme hospital. Can you send more than four people? Cause that might better your chances. Uh, no, I think it's just whatever they whatever they have available or whatever they. I, I don't think you can supplement more. At least I've tried and it hasn't worked. Maybe in some missions you can, but at least right now you can't. We did succeed though. So 6,400. Yeah. I'll try again next time I do it. We just leveled up too to rank three. Sick. Hey, Colin, thank you very much for the six months of support. Appreciate it, Colin. I appreciate you, Colin. Thank you very much. Look at this. Look at the tank operator. Is that like VR? It is like VR. <laughs> I want to see him get in the little tank. Yeah. No. Hawkins. Did you hear that? 
Hey! Sneezing in our camp, it's a virus. Oh, don't even start with me. When you, one of your troops has a cold, we should treat them ASAP. A cold might not seem so serious, but there is a catch. They are very contagious. A soldier with a cold can affect anyone they come into contact with. Hey. It'd be a huge pain if we'd let an entire unit get sick. Make sure that doesn't happen. Luckily, we can build an infirmary to deal with this problem. If you haven't done so already, build one and hire a medic. Mm -hmm. Medics will take care of our sick with a healthy dose of hot soup and some rest. Yo! Come on, time of the essence. Uh, don't let any of the viruses run rampant at our camp. No, I want to watch him go first. Let me watch him go. Yeah! Going around the landmines? Sick. Over the hill? Yeah! <laughs> How cool is that? Okay, time to build an infirmary. I guess we need to do the tech tree for this, right? Sleep clinic. Motivational. Uh, infirmary. Yeah, we do have an infirmary already unlocked. Infirmary, infirmary, health. Infirmary. Treats colds. Let's put that right. And put it right there. Right there. We'll slide this through. It's kind of what I'm thinking like this. Oh, God. Like that. Okay. We're going to have to hire someone to run this infirmary. Let that be known. Who wants the job? We have seven recruits. Anybody worthwhile? Everybody sucks. Fantastic. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, you, you're, you're, you're mad because you waited too long. Got me to buy and play my gaming club? I got tips if you want some. Oh, nice, sweet. <clears throat> uh, let's get rid of you. Thank you. Let's get rid of you. Um, Lily? Yannick? Home Depot? Lily, Ashley, Jeffrey. We're going to go with Lily. Lily, will you be our medic? And will you go into the infirmary? And as far as accommodation goes, I'm going to have to give you an accommodation. We'll hire you first, get you going there, and then I'll build you a house off over here. Dun, 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 dun. Go. And then maybe I can go like this. Quick way to work. Perfect. And then where is she? Where is she? There she is. Yes, sir. You will be assigned to that. House. Okay. Cool. No personnel working. I doubt it. I think the person just hasn't arrived yet. Yeah. Uh oh. Is this the cold sickness? Yeah, you need to go to the infirmary right. now. No, no, don't go into the barracks. Don't infect everything, you, you, you numb nut. Numb nut. Nut numbed. Never understood the whole numb nut uh, controversy thing. Uh, yeah, okay, let's look into here, shall we? Yes, you sir. are working on that. You need to work on speed now. Speed. All right. Go get the speed. Yes, you. Sir. You need to have a goal? I agree. We need more tank specialists. What are you doing in the books? Okay, well, I guess... You know what? Ryan Evans, you're going to do all of this. <laughs> We're going to set your goal now to do that, and you're going to go train okay. in strength. Go train in strength. A lot more researchers, uh, researchers available. Fuel, food, medical. Now, this is actually good because uh, we won't have to... If we do level 2 on any of these warehouses, we can set auto stock on... Intelligence training increases the training speed. That would be nice, too. Kind of want to spend it on this stuff. Like, for me, not having to worry about the food or the ammo would be kind of convenient. But it's a lot of research points. Or I can wait until research level, yeah, 1200 to get more researchers. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to upgrade my uh, research instead. Building. Have a good one, Fitran. Do take care. You take care. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Of course, the food. Look at the food game is out of control, too, now here. Uh, let's buy this. Top bun. What does it say? All bun, no filler. Bread, pitas, 
brioches, uh, brioches, bagels in bulk. Very well. Got no ammo. There we go. Perfect. People are all out of food. Don't even. No, you guys are fine. The worker's coming. Just give them a sec. In needies. Yes, Ready for specialization? Where are you at? You're in a spy situation. So let's throw you to spy specialization. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, Cynthia. Yes, sir. You are doing a job that you don't need to do. Uh, you uh, need to do speed. Uh, copy that. I'll switch you over to speed. Oh, don't drop the book, you yes, numbskull. Uh, you are doing speed. Now you need to go and do a little bit of strength. Consider it done. I will consider it done. Somebody has a muscle injury. Let's send you over to the muscle injury. You probably hurt yourself in the damn uh, wind tunnel. Uh, William yes, is good for specialization. He can go for spy again, I guess. Right, another spy. My lord. Yes, sir. And yep. then you are doing something you. Yeah, technically don't need to do. What is your goal? Oh, you're a tank. Oh, you should be able to specialize soon, no? Oh, you're missing accuracy. I gotta put you in accuracy. Go do that. What are you doing? Sure thing. Come on now. Get it going. Now a lot more research is available. I'm gonna go ahead and get the research lab. Increases the maximum workers you can now then have three, and then it increases the efficiency by 25%. So that's... I think that's damn well worth it. All right, so there we go. Let's upgrade this. What do I need to upgrade this? I just go for it. Upgrade 900. Send it. 900. Yeah. Perfect. Does it change the cosmetics in the inside? I think it does. It's now Jurassic Park, dude. Dude, there is this weird that that right there that whole that reminded me of a movie I saw on HBO recently. Weird movie, crazy movie. Yeah, it was like supposed to be a horror movie, but it wasn't really scary. It was just weird. It's on HBO Max. There's a movie called Old. I don't know if anybody has seen that movie. Old? So kind of, it's based off of a book, but kind of crazy. Handy maintenance guy. Ah, that may be good. Good cook. Ooh. And handy. Hawkeye. Okay. Accuracy improved. Sleepyhead. Okay. Good cook. Handy. We have a lot of cooks here. Handy, handy, handy. Um... Uh, let's go Hawkeye. Let's go here, you, and let's get that going. I feel like I need I need to take advantage of these guys. Where's our maintenance people right now? Soldier list. Can you level up the their stats? Yeah, yeah. Yep, you can. Um, let's see. Let's go to... We want to go to... Maintenance people. Uh, let's fire this guy. He's going to be upset about that. We'll fire him. And then we will fire this guy. Yes, sir. Sickly guy. And then we'll hire two new um, maintenance people. One needs to do night shift, one needs to do day shift. You are handy. We'll put you on night shift. For maintenance. Ah, okay. Yay. And then the next guy put you on day shift for maintenance. I think, right? Yeah. Hang on, I just gotta wait for the other guy to 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 leave. In the meantime, yes, let's sir. give this guy a set goal for Tank specialist. Tank driver. Okay, now he should be gone, I think. Still have six. And the guy has to, like... Has to feel his... Oh, he has to feel his presence leave. Yeah, there's a guy... Yeah, exactly. My point. Um, assigned. Assigned, assigned, assigned. How many people? I guess we need two more maintenance people, maybe? Oh, my lord. Uh, you... Go to... Daytime higher. Thank you. Sleepyhead. And then we'll hire this guy as well. Or maybe nighttime. Alright. And then Good Lord, another cook and handy people. Uh, 
Yeah! All right, we'll let them go. We'll let them do their thing now. All right, uh, research. We're going to need to get someone in here, a brainiac, someone that's good at researching. Uh, we'll let that roll. Should be getting more research points as it is right now. Uh, building out of service. What are you talking about, building out of service? No building should be out of service. You're fine. Yeah, you're good. Yes, Special is Oh, God, someone has the flu. Okay, let's put you in the infirmary. Right. Put you in the muscle injury. Sure thing. Send yes, you sir. off to specialization for tank. There we go. There's our second tank. Yes, sir. Love it. All right, now we can finally do this mission. So, well, well, it seems we made them nervous. Jantine has mobilized her troops and is forcing the civilian population to build makeshift defenses. They're working their hands raw, digging trenches. Meanwhile, the officers are pigging out on ham. Shame on them. Let's rescue those civilians and drive the last of last of Jantine's soldiers out of the woodlands. Okay. Consider it done, boss. I will consider it Understood. Done. Okay. So we do have a little bit of an edge. Um, We might lose somebody here, but let's go. We should win it. And then this, I guess, is our new places that we have here? What is this? Crystal Wood. They are proud of their cuisine and love to cook. Don't even think of telling them you put pineapple on your pizza. Traits of the inhabitants. The inhabitants of this town present the following features uh, predominantly. Good cook experience as cook ex increases 25%. Handy as 25%. Okay. Popularity analysts. According to our surveys, this is our popular rating in this town. 25%. Improving the popularity among its inhabitants will make us receive more recruits with the predominant traits. Okay, which is those. Okay, I got it. And then what do we got here? Starchy troopers. Price per unit. Delivery. Wait a sec. That'd be $1,600. Would that make our relations go with them, maybe? Maybe that's what it would be. Compared to, like, doing top bun, which is way more cheaper. Way more cheaper. Anyways. Oh, that's that for you. That's that for you. <laughs> Attention required. Everything is okay. Hey, all right. That's wonderful news. Wonderful news. It's the best news we've had all day. There's a good cook and handy experience. Okay. Sprinter speed moves and then slow recovery. Let's get you into the game here. Put you on speed training. Higher. <laughs> there we go. Your set speed or your set, sorry, your set yes, goal sir. in life will be simply aviator. That's what you're going to be doing. Aviator. We get another recruit in. Handy, another handyman. My lord. I kind of want to get rid of all the handymans and replace them with all the good ones now. Get the ammo crate going. Let's go and buy that. Perfect. All right. Cool. Now, this person is getting healed up. This person is going has the flu going into there. We haven't seen the infirmary yet in action. Oh my lord. Aww. He's so upset. <laughs> oh man. Oh these guys. Oh god, that was so loud. And what are you doing? You might yes, be doing something sir. wrong here. Okay, you need to switch over to accuracy, Mr. Uh, Ryan Evans. Roger that. Get you going. Okay, cool. Uh, cook, 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 cook. All cooks and resources are now coming out of the blue. Very well. Let's get this mission. This mission's done. There we go. Great victory, so we did squad. lose somebody. Take some rest and get ready for the next mission. Wasn't the person I was thinking we were going to lose, but we lost that person. That's bad because that's one of our best uh, infantry person. So that kind of sucks. Uh, Seventy-four hundred or sixty-four hundred dollars. That's nice to have. Add that to the bank account. We're going to need a more. We need, we're going to need to get more uh, more infantry person. Now it says we have zero out of two tank drivers. That's I think because. Why is that? We should have tank drivers. 
Oh, they need to rest before flying to a new mission. Okay, yeah, so they just need to rest. So we do have two tanks. We just need them to rest. All right, all right, all right. Hey, Penguin, how you doing, Penguin? What's going on? Glutton, I'm just going to reject you. I know you just got off the bus, but you're going out right away. All right, uh, you, yes, what sir. do you got going on here? So you got the spy working, thank you. Yes, sir. Put you on spy duty. Spy kids. You. Yes, sir. Just, you're just a little bit in, in a little bit in inconvenience here, huh? You're trying to get with the comms. Uh, let's put you with this. And let's set your goal there. I'm gonna need to buy more ammo here again. Let's get the ammo out. We might need a couple of these bad boys. There we go. You should yes, be fine, but we can put you to <laughs> speed training for right done, now. Boss. Do we have Captain America yet? I wish. Okay. I'm looking for a, a, a brainiac, a researcher. Good cook. I'm not looking for good cooks, okay? We have plenty of cooks. We have plenty of maintenance people. I'm looking for brainiacs. Okay, we got this mission ready to go, too. Our reconnaissance team has discovered something disturbing in the woods. The rumors are true. Gentine is having them clear out the flowers and other plants. It's horrible. What's worse, she is brainwashing people and forcing them to work in the fields, always under the watchful eye of her goons. And all of because of her allergies? Doesn't she know about antihistamines? I tried for you, and it didn't work out. I apologize. We don't know how to get them out of their stupor, stupper, but at least we can rescue them and put Gentine's troops on the run with their tails between their legs. Very well. All right. But a tank driver. No! You. Ah, frick. Your rest should be good to go. I thought you were ready, but you're not ready. You're not fully rested yet. All right. Antihistamines? Is that how you say it? <clears throat> Antihistamines? Antihistamines? Yes, sir! Uh, your specialization is good, and that's fine, because we need... A tank operator? Yes, sir! Put you in a tank. That's fine. Put you in a tank. Did I mention the tank's a tank? Sold. The Family Guy reference for you, if you didn't know. <clears throat> now pronounce Corferiminin Malatosis Ferocious Babocious Cadocious Sadocious, my favorite ant antihistamine. There you go. I did it. Yes, sir. I did it! No? Do you believe in me? Give me another tank? Is this? Oh, this is aviator. I switch you to like something else. I want to do a tank. I, I think I have plenty of aviators. Can I set you to a tank? Set your accuracy. Go train in the accuracy now. Copy that, boss. Yeah, copy that, boss. Yes, sir. Sandra is ready to become a spy. Yes, sir. You can be a spy. Yes, sir. Sir, what do you got going on here? Accuracy is good. Uh, strength, not good. Sure you know what? Can I actually just set you to a... That? That's fine. Specialize in infantry? I'm good with that. Yes, sir. There you go. By the way, thank you, Darren, for the super chat. You got an A for effort. Well, there you go. See? I did it. Told you I did it. <laughs> got a couple of researches going on. I know yes. Rhea, Raya, Rhea, Rhea... Reba is uh is is low on stamina. What do we got here? Those freaking uh, medical places. Uh, you are filled yes, up. Sir. Oh shoot, our freaking uh, our spies are filled up. If that's the case, let's kind of switch you off to something else. <clears throat> let's not su switch you off to something else because we just physically can't. Uh, let's put this to work now. Still resting on these tank operator driver thing on my bombers, my lord. Who are you and what do you do? You're the gas people. 
Ah, oh, it's the gas people. Dear gas people. Gas people? How do they know I got gas? Yes, sir. Try to go for a dumb and dumber reference there, too. Understood. Oh. Dear gas people, we, uh, left town. There we go. I don't know. I guess you can just stand there and look pretty. You just stand there and do that. Uh, let's take a look at some recruits real quick. Any brainiacs? Any researchers I'm looking for? Good cook, handy? No. Good cook, no. Handy, no. Handy, no. Hawkeye? Possibly, yes. Good cook, no. Ever since we have unlocked this part, I think it's like... Totally. Like, 25% it says we get, but my god, we are, like, bringing in these handy cooks left and right. Uh, you're gonna be a infantry person. You're gonna do accuracy, accuracy. Welcome to the squad. Yes, sir. You will be set. Infantry. Have a good time. Have a good time. Hey, Rachel, how you doing, Rachel? How did they know I have gas? Exactly. Hey, Steven. How you doing, Steven? What's going on? How y'all doing? Is today Monday? Today's Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today I feel like... Do Wait. The day I feel like... How's it go? Yes, sir. Today I feel like not doing anything. Uh, da, 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 da. Can't find a working canteen? Don't even at me. Wait for the worker to get there. All I, uh, today I don't feel like doing anything. Ba, 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 ba. I just want to lay in my bed. Ba, 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 ba. Don't feel in. Oh, crap. Don't feel like picking up my phone. Leave a message at the tone. Uh, fire. Yes, sir. There we go. And then you, yes, we can place you where we need to do right there. Consider it done, boss. Consider it done. Actually. Yes, sir. There's Bella. Okay. She She feels like doing everything today, though. Today is not a lazy day. Today is not Bruno Mars for her. What's going on here? What are y'all doing? Yes, sir. You have a place to work. Go work. You got a place to eat. Go eat. Thank you. Doctor, doctor, is there a doctor in the house? Yes, sir. Your goal is to become a tank driver, my good man. Jump on the accuracy training now. Copy that, boss. What the hell? Everything's like getting out of haywire for some reason. We good to go? Can we send these people out? <clears throat> we cannot tank. still. Roger that. I need a tank driver. I need one more tank driver. One to that that's not gonna be tired. <coughs> My favorite dumb and dumber quote is pull over, pull over. <laughs> pull over, pull over. Oh, it's a cardigan, but thanks for noticing. You mean that one? <laughs> you want to hear the most uh, annoying sound ever? You know what the best Dumb and Dumber quote is? I'll tell you. I say it quite often, and not a lot of people realize it's a, it's a, it's a Dumb and Dumber quote. I, I, it's when um, it's when Lloyd, I forgot what he's doing, but damn it, he he's, he's sitting there, and he's he's looking at something. I forgot who he's looking at. I gotta look up this scene now, but he's like. Suck me sideways. A lot of people think I uh, say that because um, I'm a disgusting individual. No, dude, that's Jim Carrey. That's Lloyd, man. That's 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 a funny freaking part of the movie. By the way, you can obviously see here uh, the the issues. We're gonna need another canteen. Uh, let's get another canteen. <clears throat> I had a mom get really upset at me in one of my streams one time. I did. I did. I did. I drew a penis on a coffee cup. That was, uh... 
That was the end of the line for her. <laughs> I heard I heard it. I heard all about it. It was uh it was something. She got me. How dare you? How dare you, forehead? I watch my videos with your with my kids. And you have the audacity to draw a penis on your coffee cup. This is unprofessional. You shall never be able to do this ever again. Therefore, I will never watch any of your, vi your videos and never support you ever again. I, I, it says it in my bio, all right? About section, you hit the about section. The, the channel is PG-13. PG-13. That's what you got to expect. Have you ever seen the movie Weird Science? Go watch that movie and tell me that movie's PG-13. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can I hire another cook? Daytime cook. Uh, we're going to put a private room in there, too. I'll give you a private room here in a sec. Hire you. Finally use these good cooks to our advantage. Uh, we'll do this. This is fine. Uh, it recovers. It's sleep. Okay, whatever. The cook there. Get you for nighttime cook. Hire you. Huzzah! We're going to need two yes. private houses for these people as well. Let's go here. Let's go this way. Boom. Another one. There you go. That looks good. Let's grab these people real quick before they walk off and I don't know where they go. Okay. Where's the cooks at? Oh, a couple of cooks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. Sure there thing. You are. You're yes, right. Yes, sir. You and go right there. All right. Perfect. All right. Cool. Okay, so now that should get done here in a sec. As far as the warehouse, I mean, that's fine. It's, it's fine where it's at, I think, for the most part. Uh, we just need these cooks to get there quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, these people are dying over here. Come on. <clears throat> I wanted our pharmacy buyer to carry turbo lax in our pharmacy. Oh my god. I'm one of the few people who love the prequel. Dumb and Dumber. -er. Oh, dude, I love Dumb and Dumber. -er. Yeah, I love that one too. I think they did a, a good job, honestly. I think the people that played, well, especially the person that played Lloyd, Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey's character. That guy looked almost like exactly and acted exactly like a younger Jim Carrey, I think, would, right? I think he did. I mean, Harry, okay, right, Harry was a little yes, bit sir. off, but the Lloyd character was really good. Yes, sir. I, 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 I mean, Dumb and Dumber 2 was all right, you know, but some of the jokes they did in that one kind of like made my stomach queasy. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool to see him after a long time, but you know, still, I still think the uh, I, I still think the prequel, the Dumb and Dumber, was pretty good. You just couldn't handle the immature drawing. That's basically it. <laughs> I'm gonna need more power here. Work some more power up here. Let's go this way with it. There we go. Perfect. Distribute that a little bit. There we go. Cool, cool. The train wreck over there, but that's all right. Yes, sir. What are you looking at, here, buddy? Make you inventory again. We'll yes, do that. Sir. And then maybe now, hopefully, we're good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. All right, let's do it. Tank operator, all engage. Right. 739 against 490, $7,400 for this. We shall do it. We shall be able to pull it off. We're making good progress in this game, I will say. Yeah, absolutely. The Harry character actor in the prequel was also also in Hostel. Hostel, really, was he? I wonder if the Jim Carrey character did any other movies. I'm sure he did, but he never became like a... A-list celebrity. A-list celebrity or anything like that. Yes. Low morale for you? Why do you have low morale, buddy? Are you stuck in here? You have, like, no hunger, no energy, no entertainment? Are you stuck in here, my good man? What the? Are you playing baseball? Yo, that's sick. What? 
Are you doing that with grenades? What the heck? That? What? Sure. I. No answers. Let's just force this person to rest. Go rest, dude. This person, I think, just hurt himself literally j just right now. Okay. Oh, there. My goodness. Yes, sir. You're very hungry. Go rest and eat and all that. Oh, yes, boy. sir. Do we have a tank specialist now. We have another tank specialist. Yes, sir. Right, right, right. Cool, cool, cool. Twelve researchers is happening. I'm tempted to actually get the uh, food warehouse level two. It increases the maximum capacity and allows us to automate the request, which I think is probably pretty important. So I'm gonna do that. Food warehouse. Buy that. We'll upgrade it. Perfect. And then we will put this on automate too. So purchase when order order purchase order when resources are down to five percent. Honestly, like maybe like 25%? There. So there's no lapse in it. Oh, are we done? We did it. The Lloyd prequel actor did a small role in not another teen movie. I don't know what that movie is. Defeat. Oh, maybe I do. Well, only serve to make us stronger. Mission failed. What? Well, at least nobody got hurt. That's a load of... That's a crock of effing wreck. You sons of guns. All right. Okay. Let's do it again. Sure thing. Let's run it back. Sure thing. 748 against 490. We should get this going. Yeah? What the heck? How dare they? How dare they defeat me at my own will? This private house is ridiculous here. I feel bad whoever's sleeping in that room, I tell you. I might get rid of it. Any good uh, researchers? Any brainiacs? Good cook. Handy. Good cook. Hawkeye. Uh, yeah. I think you're probably worthwhile. Accuracy. Um, good cook. Good cook. I think, I, I think they need to kind of balance this out a bit. I think this good cook handy stuff is flooding our uh, recruitment yes, status. Sir. They need to tone it back, back down a bit after our neighbors are giving us the, the work around here. I will set you there. Like, we shouldn't be getting that much. They need to let the Fast and the Furious movies die out. Too many of those. I know number 10 is coming out soon, right? Number 10? I think it's supposed to be the last one, right? I don't know. This is supposed to be the last one. The fifth one came out. This is supposed to be the last one. The sixth one came out. This is supposed to be the last one. The seventh one came out. <clears throat> the crash test dummy did a cover of Peter Pumpkinhead for Dumb and Dumber. And the music video is a short adventure starring Lloyd. And it's amazing. What? That sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty cool. All right, we're about to finish this bad boy up. The thing about Fast and the Furious is that there's two people that don't get along. That was a fine victory. Thank you, buddy. There's two people that don't get along. Vin Diesel and uh, the, is it The Rock? Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson? Those two don't get along too much. I think there's like contractable clauses in their contracts, at least for the older movies. I don't know about now. I haven't watched them in a long time, but there was like contract contract clauses in their in, in their dealio where Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson they have so big egos that one of them could not get beat up more than the other. If that makes sense. Insane. Buzz buzz. Hmm. Julie here. Hmm. Julie, glad to see you're okay. What's your status? I'm still behind enemy lines. I'm starting to see movement about Jantine's troops. I think they're worried. <laughs> you're very close now. You are making great progress. 
We'll have you out of there soon enough, Julie. Be brave and have patience. Mm -hmm. One more thing, Sergeant. Huh? What? What is it? Hmm. I know how Gentine manages to turn people into mindless zombies. She's got a machine. Huh? A machine? Mm -hmm. Affirmative, Sergeant. A brainwashing machine. It erases people's memories and replaces them with orders. They practically become robots, but she can also use it to order them to complete difficult missions. Buzz, buzz. Oh. I can't believe it. Damn you, Gentine. We can allow you to control people's minds. We have to stop her. Sergeant, I have a... Uh... Uh-oh. Julie? Do you read me, Julie? Oh, there she is. Look at her. She's working the spandex. Well, well, well. Looks like we discovered a stowaway. Gentine Roosevelt, you coward. You criminal. You're gonna get it. Oh. He's up, Sergeant. Huh. I've let you operate until now because I was feeling generous. But you're beginning to get rather annoying. No. I'm going to, uh, uh, <laughs> sneeze. <laughs> Damn allergies. We fight her with flowers. <laughs> fight her with flowers. You mock me? You'll regret this. Nobody laughs at my mighty Gen Gentine Roosevelt. <laughs> but I didn't see anything. Don't try to fix what you did. I have something very special for all of you. Soon, very soon, you'll be hearing from me. I'm going to stop you in your tracks and prove my worth to our great leader, Dragon. Hopefully he'll reward me and get me out of this infested land. Your little friend is in trouble. I'll deal with all of you soon. Watch your... Are you mocking me? <laughs> Danielle's over here mocking me. No! Damn it! No! Oh. This looks bad. They spotted us and Julie needs help. We need to get to great land as soon as possible. I've got a bad feeling about this. We better watch out. We don't know what Gentine's up to, but I'm afraid we're going to find out soon enough. Well then, that was pretty sick, if you ask me. Not like sick as in literally she's sneezing all over the place sick, but I guess a different kind of sick. But uh, yeah. Nice. Holy crap. Instant, intense, in, in, intense, and in, help me out here. In, in, <laughs> intestinal, 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 intestines, but it's intest, Intest. intestinal? It's your intestines? No. Oh. In, 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 intestinal in, 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 in testicles upset. No! In, <laughs> in Your intestines are upset. Very well. <laughs> All right. That's good. Very, very, very good. <clears throat> that too, yeah. That, that, that's basically how it is. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it in today's stream of one military camp if y'all enjoy this please make sure to hit the like button uh and if you're watching this in the replay comment down below and all that good stuff if you liked what you see here if you want to see more i probably will be bringing this uh game again uh to the to the channel at least one more time unless people really like this game then i'll bring it multiple times but at least one more time on release date on march 2nd i'll probably bring it back and uh we can play a little bit more on release day that we can all play together so to speak right anyways it's been real with you i want to say a big shout out to a blight studios uh the publishers the developers uh for sending me a key and being able to uh play this early access for all of y'all for at least over three hours you have what is called an educated stream whether or not this game is worth it for you i like it I think it's cool. I think the animations, I think the art style, I think the graphics are wonderful. I think it's nice and colorful. I like the humor in it. And I think it is fun for sure. A hundred plus, I think there's a hundred missions in this. A hundred missions you can do in this game in early access. We talked about the roadmap um, for the next six months at the beginning of the stream. So if you did not see that, you want to know what the roadmap is and what is to come. Uh, check like the first two minutes of the stream. I go over that and we talk about that about that 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 anyways thank you all for hanging out with me today much appreciated I want to say a special thank you to darren for the super chat and kalia with the five gifted memberships thank you kalia for the five gifted memberships as well uh all the people that renewed their membership today thank you very much uh kilmowski thank you for the super chat also 
And thank you, Vaughn, for the five uh, gifted memberships. Oh. Thank you, Yellow, for the five gifted memberships today. Uh, and also, thank you, Darren, for the five gifted memberships. And thank you, Sunny Ann, for the five gifted memberships also today. And thank you, Mrs. Hosier, for becoming a member of the channel. All the people that subscribe, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. It's free to do. It's easy to do. And you can know when the next time I go live. Other than that, you can follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Don't follow me on TikTok. Support me on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> and I will see you all very soon. You can join the Discord links in the description down below. And all that. Have a good one, everyone. Have a great night, Steven. I have a good one, Ronald. And have a good one, KFAM. And all that. And everybody I see. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Good to see you. And bye, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. And bye, Stephanie as well. Hope you all have a wonderful night. Stay safe. Stay happy. And uh, I don't know. Keep it classy, folks. Because I certainly do not know how to do that. All right? Goodbye.